two. Everybody, the time has come. It is Wednesday, December 13th. The year 2023. The show, Soundbite Tournament 2023, is my one of my favorite shows of the year. I always look forward to it. And uh, boy, we have a stiff, stiff competition this year. In fact, we came, we started early because we know that these shows take time. And we do not like to rush the process. Uh, we need to take this methodically and patiently. But uh, we've basically have a monster list. We've even crowdsourced to the audience, because I'll never forget, I don't know if it was the first or second year we did this. It was maybe the first time. When we forgot peace and love. Exactly. I mean, I was like, what? So I don't ever want that to happen. And this is the first time for me. So do you guys find any interesting ones from the crowdsourcing? Yeah, I mean, there was lots. The thing is, is like, the year, the year is so long. It turns out it's like a year long. It's, and, it is, yeah. oh yeah. Stuff that I thought what year happened forever it? ago. It's like, oh no, that was just in March of this year. And so sometimes we're just reminded. It's like, oh yeah, yeah that was, was this, year. this year. Right. Yeah, thank you, Jordan. Um, so, I mean, that's going to be the whole show. There's a couple of things I want to touch on real quick at the top. First mm -hmm. of all, thank you to Stamps.com. Yeah, love. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers, my dude. Also, people are buzzing. Hila's birthday was yesterday and I had a fun day planned. I don't know if you, can you guys tell my nails are like... Did you get a Manny? I got a Manny Pat Panny. They're stunning. Yeah, can you Very see them? Yeah, they're glistening from all uh, the I way can't. Over my here. previewer is not up. Oh, here. I got a, a, a top coat. Oh, you can't really see them. No, you, I, they look amazing. No, it looks gorgeous. You I look so my good. Toes. You look so I'm pretty. My toes. You want to see? Uh, if you want to give that up for free, that's on you. Wow. Oh my God, they're so pretty. Your top hold it up. Oh my <laughs> God. Glistening. Hold it up, and I'll get a zoom. Here. Yeah. Higher? So higher? <laughs> what? Looks like you're yeah, dropping put something. Put it right in the, the water there. <laughs> <laughs> no! Yeah, dude! Woo! I want to talk about feet. Thank you. That looks so <laughs> cute. Dude. I'm going to need a new water. Okay. I trust my feet. I don't think they're that dirty, but, you know. But anyway, so thank you, Olivia. That was <laughs> Um... So yeah, we did, we did, um, I think I won the birthday Olympics. Did you? I think I did a perfect day. Really? Mm. <laughs> yeah. So first, and her mom came with us, so that was a nice extra treat. Nice. So we went the Manny Panny, Manny Petty. Uh-huh. Which I've never done, like going to the salon and doing the whole thing. The lady, I can't say it was the best, she was very aggressive with like... There's this specific cutting tool they use to cut the top part, the skin here. Cuticle cutter. Cuticle cutter? I believe that's what that is. And she was very aggressive. I was actually bleeding from one of my cuticles. You gotta be really careful that my dad has a really bad fucking infection on his finger from getting a manicure. Really? It's like staph Thank infection. So mm -hmm. What? Yeah. You should, his finger was blown the fuck up. It's like oozing with pus. Oh, no. I've heard yeah. that too. Every time I push my cuticle back, I alcohol it a little bit. I never I'm touched that, that part of my body. <laughs> right, right. I <laughs> never <laughs> thought about it. Right. But this lady was very aggressive. She would cut and pull. And the pull, I didn't like the pulling. Yeah. Uh -uh. <laughs> but then the other thing was, um, everything else was fine other than that. So after that, we went to um, the spa. Oh, uh, nice. We got uh, the massage and facials. Nice. I got a facial, and the lady went to war on sound my bite that? fucking face. Don't sound like that. C grow up, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> and she went to war on my face, dude. She was, like, popping every fucking pore open. I felt like my face got blowtorched. <laughs> like I was in pain the whole time, but I guess I don't know if that. I don't know if I th believe in facials, if they work, if it does anything. When I had like horrible, horrible acne, and I would get facials, I would leave crying sometimes. It's so painful. So painful. Oh yeah. my god! Why are they like that? I know. But you, did you, but you kept doing them. Did you think that it helped you? 
Definitely, like, especially when my face was clearing out, I just had so much shit, like, you just had to get it out because I was producing more. So, like, the least amount of zits possible is what I was trying to achieve, and, like, yeah, I guess. Yeah, it's hard to know, especially if you're, like, going through puberty or, yeah. or whatever. I, I did know. Accutane. <laughs> that shit works. Everyone who I know did that has, like, perfect skin. It yeah, works. it did work. I'm nervous that it's, I'm going to have to go back on it. Why? Because I've been getting a, like a couple. It's, That's you're not supposed to. So if you do start getting zits, like it's possible that your acne could come back. So I have to keep an eye on it. Well, I think a couple zits here and there. I'd be more worried about like oily pores. That's mm -hmm. the f thing that fucks me up that I have had my whole life. And the lady's like, "You have very oily skin. Did you have horrible acne when you're <laughs> when you were a kid? I didn't actually. I mean, it was normal acne." But she's like, you are super backed up. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Backed up? Backed up. Shit was like nasty, it sounds <laughs> like. I was like, is there stuff coming out? Because all I felt was pain. <laughs> she's like, oh yeah. I was like, ugh. Uh. Nasty. But uh, anyway, that was fun. And then we went to dinner. But the big surprise came on the way home. Because I had been preparing in collaboration with Lena... We were, um, what's the word? Conniving? I don't know. We were conspiring. Conspiring, sure. Um, Lena was at home during our outing setting up the house because we got a Yorkie puppy. What? <laughs> <laughs> and I knew, I knew this was the best president and she was going to love it, but I had, I I have had such mixed feelings about it because I'm so in love with Shredder and I still think about him and miss him so much. Mm -hmm. But I do think it's important to, you know, in, in an act of, it's not like replacing him. It's, it's a different dog. Of course. Mm -hmm. I know, but it's just, it's like, it's just a, I don't know. I'm very ambivalent i i the dog is amazing he's so cute he's so sweet he's so playful we call it we named him ducky oh my god ducky! Really? Wow. that I is like so ducky. cute yeah, okay, good. and then um but he's so cute and sweet and we tried which is not good advice i don't advise it we knew it wasn't the right thing to do but we let him sleep in our bed and he took a fucking fat diarrhea in the middle of the night. Thank you. Dude, and it was so nasty. Nice. It was so nasty, and Alfredo was not down with that. He was like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> You're shitting in the bed. Oops. But he's so sweet. You guys can meet him soon. I didn't he's not ready for prime time yet. Yeah, I feel you. Um, here, I, I just took a little video. Wow. I didn't document it too much publicly, but I posted this one. Of the doggies. <laughs> This was, oh. this was happening when we were at dinner and I was watching this and trying not to say anything. Puppy gum. <laughs> he's so, he's so Puppy. amazing. He's so perfect. Puppy. Look how guy. gentle and good Alfredo is. He's so great. Yeah, I don't know. Puppy. Fredo's been kind of grouchy though after this. Like he, I don't know. It like, took, go ahead. Sometimes it takes a second for yeah. the older dog. Yeah, exactly. That's what I think too. Cause he like this was really sweet, but the rest of the night, you know how puppies are. He just wants to play, 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 mm. play. He's just like all energy, and uh, Alfredo was just like not having it. Oh no, shitting and pissing, baby, gotta <laughs> love it. But he's doing great. I mean, he's already peed outside a few times, which is really good. He That's pooped good. outside, so he's really already making really good progress. Nice. Puppy gum. Cute. <laughs> Yeah, Puppy. he's so, he's Ducky. like, perfect, 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 yeah. So cute. it was a great, so it was great. Very cute name, I love that. Thank you. So, that was, there we go. We're there in we it. Go. We're doing it. So how did Eva uh, react? She cried, I knew, I knew it was gonna be a, it was, it was great. Okay. She loved it. Great. Good. Yeah. I was very excited too, I had met him. You know. Mm-hmm. So, oh, and before you come at me, I donated ten thousand dollars to a a dog shelter. Okay, so give me a fuck. Wait, what? What do you mean? Because people go, oh, you bought a dog. Because he's a Yorkie. You have to buy. 
Oh, I bought it. Oh, got it, got it. Got From it. a breeder. All right. A very ethical, good breeder. Um, but a who breeder took great care of him. What? But a breeder nonetheless. Yes. And we don't believe in eugenics around here. <laughs> Even when it comes to dogs. Right. We're going to stop dissing the Nazis. But, but I feel like, time. you know, I'm like Bill Gates offsetting my carbon emissions. You know what I mean? You know how he does that? He goes, I, yes, I fly, I fly my private jet, but I, I offset emissions more than anyone. He also like, drinks shit water. So, I mean, yeah. yeah. Good guy. Okay. But so don't come at me, okay? Um, uh, so. I'm, people in the chat are asking, and I, I, I wonder myself, what happened to the cat idea? Um, I'll tell you what happened. So I thought the kids were super into the idea of the cat. Mm -hmm. And I asked Teddy, just to, I just wanted to hear what he would say. I said, uh -huh. Teddy, would you rather have a dog or a cat? Expecting him to say cat. Uh -huh. And he said dog. Huh. He says he wants a dog. He doesn't want a cat. Okay. And well, we, there you go. we were initially thinking that we wanted to get a doggy friend for Alfredo. And also, I still have the, um, the fear that I had before, which is that our doors, our outdoors are always open. And with kids coming and going. Yeah. Right. And we live in, like, where a ton of coyotes live. Yeah. That I would be absolutely uh, just uh, paranoid, obsessively about not letting the cat out, and God forbid if the cat did get out, it would be in danger. Right. So we ended up, I, I just found uh, these, these Yorkie puppies, and they were just, ugh. I knew that, that that was it. I knew that was it. So are you sure that this isn't all cover for you having um, secretly cloned Shredder like that? Uh, who was it? Was it, um, it was Barbara uh, Streisand? Barbara Streisand. Oh. How she had the same dog for like 40 years because she kept cloning it or I'm something? Sorry. No, I didn't clone Shredder. And also, I, I, I would not do that. <laughs> okay. I find that very odd. <laughs> because then it really is like trying to rip fucking... Yeah. That's because it's not your dog. That's not your dog. Right. It's a different dog. Right. Right. I want my dog back. Oh. I want my boy back. Right. I want yeah. a new version of him. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you. No, I didn't do that though. Is that an option? Is that red? Is that an option available to people? Yeah. To just clone? Yeah. Well, what you do is that you dog. take their DNA and then. I mean, she did that a while ago. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I've heard for about it for a long, long time. So. Wait, right, hold on. Yeah. Cl can I clone my dog? dog. Our, uh, our your veterinarian will collect a small history. tissue sample from your dog. This process is a minor procedure. The tissue sample will then be mailed to. Via Gen Pets, where we will cultivate new cells that share the same genetic makeup. We will then freeze these cells until you're ready to clone your dog. Are you fucking serious? How much does it cost to clone a dog? 50,000. Jeez yeah. Louise. <laughs> not for the, um... 50? Not for the, uh... Basically for the, for the very wealthy, clearly. And we'll, so hopefully we'll be able to clone our kids soon as well if we didn't sure. like the first Sure. How about ourselves? So yeah. that we can carry on. Has, but again, uh, it's has not, Brian Johnson considered that? But it's not you. If you clone yourself, you're still going to die. It's me. Um, yeah. Do you know what I mean? You're, of course you're not I know jumping what you mean. Yes. bodies. <laughs> yes. You're not. That's the thing. Also, I would say this you know how people talk about immortality and like putting your brain up in the matrix or whatever? Uh huh. That's not you either. What? You're still dying. Now we're drifting into a philosophical No, discussion. bro. If you if your body dies and mm. your brain is copied into the matrix, mm -hmm. you're fucking dead. Mm. That's just a new replica of it's you. It's a branch. Yeah. Well, what it's a, what, a clone, it's a frankly, a mental clone. What about Chucky? <laughs> Chucky's an exception. Chucky, like the murderous I don't know doll? what you mean yeah. by that. Do you mean, I assume you mean Well, because, yeah. Yeah, yeah. right, because the... Serial killer's consciousness was transferred to the doll, right? That's In the backstory of Some Chucky? satanic ritual, yeah. Right, okay. But yeah. have you considered uh, Satanism? <laughs> I have tried everything to bring Shredder back. Oh, okay. Including uh, seances? The, the laws of transmutation, and mm -hmm. I did a blood sacrifice like Full Metal Alchemist. Like Full Metal Alchemist, you turned somebody into a horrific uh, chimera. He came back as a homunculus. <laughs> I, you know, sucked. I miss him. I that love sucked. him. I don't have any. I, I according to this, you need some flesh, which I don't have Shredder's flesh with me anymore. Uh, well, I guess that ship sailed then. 
That's weird, though, to clone your dog. That's it's very odd. It's weird. It's very not, odd. You know, it's like... I am seeing that Barbara Streisand, uh, yeah, they are... They're named different. I, I don't think she treats them as if it's an extension of the same dog. I, I think she... But it's still a clone. Yeah. It's like genetically identical, right? It, it's yeah. genetically identical, which is... It just Part seems kind of unnecessary. Just get another dog. I think so too. Yeah, you know, because like you said, love it, again. It is another dog. Live in, lo yeah, exactly. So love again. Why go through all the trouble? Here's the thing. Um, how can you have a genetically? I understand you can take. So how does that work? You implant the egg inside the, the dog, to give birth to. So you don't use that dog's egg. You engineer the whole thing. Uh, I. Yeah, I mean, you'd have to. That, I, and I then it wouldn't be works. genetically identical. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I imagine, I don't know. I imagine that, uh, I don't really believe in afterlife, but when if someday at the pearly gates, Shredder's up there waiting. For sure. He'll be there. And I'll have a whole uh, dorky family. <laughs> Uh, it says, uh, somebody in the chat said, the cell samples need to be from when the donor was younger, otherwise the DNA age will be ah. messed up. So, so does that mean that Barbara Streisand ahead. was planning this from the beginning? <laughs> Hold on, Ducky, I need some flesh. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> like she, if that's true, she would have had to have planned for that years in advance. Sounds like it. Huh. Okay, well, she's a planner. But anyway, <laughs> that was the birthday. It was a really nice, special day. That's nice. Glad she had a good birthday. He's wonderful. Yeah, he's a great, beautiful doggy. So, with that all being said, there's only one thing left to do. Mm. Should we do stamps now to get it out of the way, and then? I mean, if you want to get right into it, yeah, we should probably just get the ad out of the way. How long have we been they, going? They yelled at us once for doing it too early. Yeah, you guys like that? <laughs> um, I got bitched out for doing it too early. We're almost at 20 minutes. I think it's just that it can't be in the first 10. I believe. Listen, there's too many people watching in the first 10, and that's a problem for our brand. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't... We're gonna need you to do a make good. Don't really know the logic on that one, but... I don't know uh, if... That wasn't stamps, by the way. We love stamps. All right, let's not. do it. Let's do it. Okay. We're at 20 minutes. Uh, we're at 17 and a half. So let's just sit quietly for two minutes. Okay. And a half. All right. Do you want some music? You know what I've been doing, though? I'll oh, tell you. What's that? I... Since I played Baldur's Gate 3... Mm-hmm. And now I understand like how that type of game is played, which I had no idea. It's a steep kind of learning C curve. CRPGs, yeah. C, what's a CRPG? Uh, I think it just stands for computer role playing game, but which sounds really broad, but it usually is just referring to those kind of D and D inspired types okay. of games. Because yeah. they're very similar. Because so I went back and I downloaded Divinity Two on my uh, game Steam Deck. Steam Deck, which fucking I can't rave about Steam Decks. I'm gonna have so, to get one. Dude, it, I gotta it do it. So I'm playing Viv Divinity Two, which is the game that they made before Baldur's Gate, right? And it runs on Ultra perfectly on the Steam Deck. It nice. is just amazing. Cool. And um, I started a game on the hardest difficulty mm -hmm. because I was like, I, I get, this. I got this, and I'm, and it's just, I've been every fight is a fight for my life. <laughs> every fight is the hardest fight uh -huh. in the game. But it's so much fun, actually. I'm I'm working my way slowly through the first chapter, but but it is very fun and rewarding, actually. I cool. like it a lot. I mean, this it might be a little too retro for your taste, but the original Baldur's Gates, the old ones from the 90s that was Bioware made, those are classics for a reason. They're really fucking good. So if you want mm. more of that, I'd, I'd suggest maybe check them out. There, there's like a remaster that came out a few years ago that Oh, for real? And everything, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but it's um. So it's the same type of game. It's the same type of game. It uses, it's probably even a little more complex than the new one because it uses the old school D and D rules, which were a lot more granular. Um, but it's got a great story, and uh, you know, it's the it's yeah, generally it's the same exact type of thing. It's just a, an old school version of it. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll, and you'll I'll... you'll you'll mm -hmm. recognize a lot of stuff because the it the the new one was tied into it in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So there it is. That's my video game journey for you guys as you we go. sit on the clock. But okay, let's think stamps.com. Uh, 10 seconds, actually. 1950. Uh, here we go. And in five, four, 
three, two. Stamps.com. We love them. Thank you to Stamps.com, who's been a great supporter of this show. The holidays are here, people. Let's not waste time. Let's do everything as efficiently and good as possible. And that begins with Stamps.com. If you mail anything, if you're a small business, if you're just a hobbyist, or even, gang, if you're a big business, Stamps.com has you covered. Convenience, they send you a scale. You weigh your package. You print the postage. You leave it either at the front door because they'll come get it for you, or you can drop it off anywhere, drop boxes, post office, whatever. Don't even think about going to the post office, especially this time of year. If you value your time as a human being with finite time to live on this earth, to love, to feel, to know, mm -hmm. to sit up and know for the universe to know itself, we do not have time, people. Mm -hmm. Very inconvenient, yeah. And the other thing is, the savings are deep. Deep. They are deep, boy. <laughs> Check this out. Because they work with over a million businesses, they have massive negotiating power. Twenty. Uh, they've been in business 25 years, by the way. 80... 4% off USPS and UPS. Whoa. 84. Wow. You ever, how, who sent packages recently? You sent a package to the East Coast, you're looking at 100 bucks. If it's like tangible, like a thing yeah. with like a little bit of weight, Samsung.com is going to get you the best deal. 84% off up to USPS and UPS rates. Also online, they've got uh, automatically tells you the cheapest and fastest shipping option to make sure you're getting the best deal. And I don't know if I've mentioned this, but Dan's girlfriend is a uh, Ali is a huge <laughs> proponent. Yeah, I don't think we've mentioned that, but yeah, she's uh, used it for years as her primary way of doing her shipping for her online business, and it's been nothing but wonderful for her. She probably only prays from her on that Yeah, only. Pray. I mean, she's been using it for a long time. Uh, probably close to a decade now. Wow. wow. Yeah. Because she sells online art, and I mean, that's exactly what's why Stamps.com is here. It's why it exists. How is her business going? Is it good? Does people buy a lot of art from her? Uh, they they do, and especially this time of year for the holidays. Uh, like commissions or like posters? Uh, both. She does commissions, uh, uh, custom commissions for people, but um, she also just sells, you know, stuff on her. That's she has awesome. a Etsy and that kind Dude. of stuff, and she uses Stamps.com for all of it. Being a working artist rules. Yeah. Yeah, it does. And by the way, Must we, be did nice. a, we did a commission from her. <laughs> Must be nice. Why? Because I'm doing that, you think? No, because she gets to, she works from home. She makes You're her jealous. own hours. She did, yeah. yeah, she doesn't have a boss. Oh, come on. Just wow. <laughs> All right, go draw Dan if you love it so much. If I could, I would. Yeah. But, but I can't. She actually made our merch. Uh, our merch. She designed the uh, poster for this can live show. show. I mean, we can show it. I think we could show it. Sure. Why not? Um, let We're going to put uh, it on shirts and posters. We always do that at our lives. We have a different artist. Yeah, we've commissioned one for each of the live shows, and Allie did this one. Allie made a really wonderful uh, graphic for us, uh, and I'm very excited to present it to you guys now. But anyway, thank you to Stamps.com. Let me just wrap this up here. Mm -hmm. uh, sign up with the promo code H3 for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. All of that? Yes. And wow. there's no long-term commitments or contracts. It's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Just go to Stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and enter the code H3. Thank you to Stamps.com. Please consider supporting them. Thank you to them. Yeah, let me see the graphic. Though. Yeah, I am uh, popping it open right now. Let's see Whoa, here. I actually haven't seen the finish. You one. haven't seen the finish? That's sick. Here it is. And here it is. HC Podcast oh, presents The it. Steamies Live. The whole gang is here. Dolby Theater. Awesome. Take a look at everybody. We got Love. <laughs> love. We got Olivia. Oh, we got hello. Sam. We got oh, Zachy over awesome. here. Dude, you guys look awesome. Here's this AIE. Is, yeah, she even got my Les Paul in there. Indeed. That's, that's dude, oh that's God. fucking wicked. We got Cam with the squirrel on his head. Yeah. We got Ian. Mr. 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 Verified. Verified, yeah. We got AB with uh, Anakin's uh, uh, lightsaber. We got Lena. Look how she drew you. She loves you. Look at that. Look how she drew you. Who? You. Me? Yeah. Oh. Baby Aww. blue eyes. <laughs> oh, that's Hazel, actually. She loves yeah. your blue eyes. Yeah. She got the... And then Ethan and Neil, of course, wearing their uh, streamies outfits. Yeah, she she flat she flatters me with that. She <laughs> 
Um, but wow, that's that's, that's so yeah awesome. for everybody attending in person. Oh yeah, the Addison Ray doll yeah. is in there as well. Miss uh, Addison. Addison made it. She there's so there's little tweaks we're doing, like we're gonna round the back of it so that. Uh, for the shirt, yeah. There's yeah, a different for version the for the shirt. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, I, I failed to point out uh, all of uh, Sam's cursed food over mm -hmm. here as well. Yes, the we shrimp. love and we love that about her, don't we, folks? <laughs> sure do. But yeah, I mean, shoot, we moved it up because we want to uh, keep the show. We moved it from Friday to today because we want Friday show to keep it a little tight because Sunday is a huge day for all of us and. Uh, Everybody is buzzing with excitement. Are you guys excited? Sunday. I mean, wow. I don't even have time to be excited, dude. I've just... Y yesterday, my, uh, I had a dentist appointment in the morning, and then I got to the office at about 9.30, and I was on the phone from that time until I left at about 6 o'clock. Just... Not back-to-back -back -back calls, logistics, calling this person, uh, talking to the broadcast people, talking to the venue. Blah, 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 blah. It's just like I was so sick talking. Just remember, just remember, you guys are the ones that wanted to do this. I know, I know. We always uh, don't we even. Were... You know, I just want to remind everybody. Yeah, I'm so excited. If it was up to me, I would never do anything ever. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys, you guys force the best out of me. It's YouTube's hottest night. It's YouTube's. It's YouTube. I do love the the live institution that we're we're building. It is very cool. The academy. It is. <laughs> it is. It is an academy and institution. But I'm I'm looking forward to. Uh, are you okay, Sam? You good? We started late because Sam got a she cut her. She got a boo boo. Really bad. Your tips no, in your pocket? Not. No, you didn't. Show it to me. Do you want me to take? Why it is it in over? your pocket? Did you cut? <laughs> Why is it in your pocket? Wait, how much did you cut off? Stick your finger. Sam says she has the tip of her finger in her pocket. Is it in there raw? It's not, not even, even wrapped up. What are you doing? Oh, are you gonna eat it? <laughs> here, come here. I, I gotta see this. Sam Ryan is like bringing the tip potatoes. of her finger to show me. Oh yeah, that's a that's a good layer of skin. It was weird because there was like one layer and then it had like a core. Mm. There was like uh there was a layer of skin around it, but then it had like a white core. Mm. Like the meat. You got a little too deep. Yeah. Yeah. And um, how did it happen? I was just trying to cut like a little hole <coughs> in some fabric and I was using fabric shears and it just like oh, sheared no. it. Like, uh, it I was so fuck. bad. I can't, it's like stinging so bad. It's like throbbing right now. Sam's been downstairs working on our steamy sets. So, yeah. Working so work. hard. They look in so great. good. Do you want, I can get Jimmy to give you pain meds. Yeah. <laughs> can yeah. He can do that. I can ask what he can do for us. You need a doctor though, tell, uh, you know what I mean? You need a doctor? I don't think so. I think, I don't think there's anything they can do. No. Well, you could get, well, I don't know, maybe just like to disinfect, we did disinfect it. I disinfected it. it. Yeah, we all, it's... we all jumped up and, you know, made sure. It was we did a whole triage. Yeah, we did, you know, we did, pickles. yeah. Everyone nursed me back to health. I guess if you're in immense pain, they could give you painkillers. Yeah. Although most of the time they'll just give you Motrin, which is just ibuprofen. I don't need that. They don't, they don't really give out opioids anymore. Yeah. My fingers are really cold. Thanks, uh, what's the, what's the name of that? Thanks, Sacklers. Can't even get Vicodin anymore because you fucks. Thanks for checking on me. I'm good. Okay. I'll Thank survive. You, Sam. Thank you. And well done. Good work. Keep it up. Not the finger cutting part, but the everything else you're doing. Yeah, the rest is great. Um. Yeah. Okay, so, well... Shit, what else is there to say or do except just hop right in? Let's get it done, guys. It is time, at long last, to crown 2023's winner of the Soundbite Tournament. It's YouTube's most exciting night, day. Can we look, take a retrospective? Who are our previous winners in the pantheon of greatness? Uh... I we had just looked up last year's um and the the final winner what was it Ian? I'm blanking. Who won last year? We were looking at it yesterday, but my mind's in too much. It was a uh, right shout out to the family, no? No, no, no. I believe it was Hassan Adolf Hitler, dude. No, that was the runner up. Oh. I remember that came in second. Shout out to the family? Uh 2022. No. 
Is it Howie? Guys, we need, you know, like, uh, in Laker, and, like, when the Lakers play, they they retire the jerseys. Right, Hall we of need fame. an award and a, and a permanent fixture to honor the winners. Hmm. So work on that list. I'm going to start because we have so much to do. But l- I want to see that list. And then we need to cr- we need to actually crown them. I'm, I'm going through right now. And yeah, the first one was shout out to the family was the first. It was Howie. I just I pulled up last year. Wait. Oh, wait, really? Mm-hmm. Yep. The prolapse one? Mm-hmm. Huh. That was what a big moment. About it? What yeah. do we do about it? What do we do about it? Yep. I haven't heard a lot of those this year. Well, maybe it was. Wait, we've all, we've done it more than twice, haven't we? Uh, we yes, did one. Uh, I think the second one. Well, five percent. Five percent won one of them. Yeah. Yes, that was the winner for the second one. That's he the takes second that 5%. one. Five percent. So is this this is our third one or fourth one? This is the fourth one. Okay, so we had shout out to the family. I think five percent was the net. Five percent. After that. Mm-hmm. How are we, Mendel? Last year, yep. And today, the new winner remains to be voted on. Yep. Give us a playthrough, Zach, of our previous year's winners. What do we do about it? Ow. (laughs) Wonderful. When my friend Neil bent over, this happened. (laughs) A wonderful time, a wonderful time. He takes that 5%. I love that one so much. (laughs) It's dear to me. Still funny. Shout out to his family. We only need to do 28 more. And then we could do a super bracket. Whoa. All we stars. actually, oh. you know, we might make Ooh. it. We might make it. <laughs> 28 years? How old will, will I be in 28 years? Uh, well, you're 42 now. No. Or 43, I'm sorry. I'm what sorry. Years? I'm sorry. 38. I know you're sensitive mm-hmm. about that. So 38 now, plus. So How many years? do we need? 60, uh, 66. You say 26, Ian? We need 28 more. 28. 28 more. So okay. I'll be 66. I mean, that's... That's a good age to retire. I could go out and say, you guys plan on being around for another 30 years? Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, what else, you know, why not? What else am I doing? Hmm. Well, you got to work. You I got, agree. You got I'm planning on working for th- at least 30 years. Yeah. Forever. 28 <laughs> years. That's it. That's our goal. I won't retire. I'll just work until I drop dead. Thanks. Oh, yeah, well, I, well that, w- when are you planning on retiring? I mean, 66. I I'm just said I'm not retiring. Lot. I'm just saying, I need you to serve at least until you're, because you're two years younger than me, right? Or a year younger than me? Uh, You'd be 65. That's a perfect age I'm to I'm two retire. years younger than you. Yeah. 64. Great. You're out early. Perfect. Okay. Uh, you're, works. you're just in time for the early bird special. Right. So you can retire Del Boca better. Vista shit. <laughs> All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's do it, guys. The brackets are established. Let's pull them up. The year is 2023. There are some strong, strong contenders this year. And to be honest, I can't name a specific favorite. I can't see the bracket. Oh, I'll pull it up. Stand by. So the first bracket here is two really strong contenders right at the top. Fuck, dude, to put these two in here. So these could have been finalists. Uh Oh, no. You know, Tipster Cheers My Dude has... Cheers, a lot dude. of power this year coming into the end of the year. Zach has truly championed the soundbite, and it and he's won all of our hearts with it as well. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not actually. Maybe I should say this. What? You can oh, say I, you, I, I, you I, can put a prediction out. We've we've seen in the past that the predictions actually don't predict that. Right. Pan out. Um, yeah. I just want to say this is my. Fi- there's so many. There's so many great ones. This has such a, a tremendous. <laughs> impact and and uh, it's quick it's i uh, added to my quick keys because it's so yeah, versatile yeah. cheers my dude <laughs> love ya no homo i mean it doesn't get better than that that's a tall boy too oh yeah so that's our boy big tip and cheers, i i also dude. think that he's a very strong contender but he's up against calling fuck me right which is a good one i don't know if it's well okay so there's a double entry here we had to consolidate some in the interest of, you know, yeah. being, it's better. I think it's more fair and it's more tight. So here's Fuck Me Right by Colleen. Fuck me, right? Yeah. I mean, that one right. gets a lot of play too. I, I, Yeah, I mean, I don't want to poison the well too much. Tipster is, that's my goat. 
and <laughs> he's our boy. That's that's uh, who I'm rooting for well, to make Colleen it all the way. Big... But I wouldn't be surprised if it gets knocked out right here in the first round by Colleen because she's a I... juggernaut. She's a juggernaut. She had a huge year. She had a huge. Here's year. the other one that's being bundled up, which is the um, fart joke. Predator, even though a lot of you think so, because five years ago I made a fart joke. <laughs> yeah, that's a funny way to put it. That's like o OJ's like, because twenty years ago I. Got a little mad once. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my temper. You know what I mean? <laughs> Don't we all do that? Oh, you, you, you'd be surprised how many girls got father issues. <laughs> Jesus OJ Christ. didn't make the He's board so actually insane. this year, but... Eh. You know what I mean? <laughs> but anyway, guys, let's get the polls open. We've got Tipster. We've got Colleen. It's the first bracket. Let's start buzzing. All through. right. Cheers, Round friend. one. Fuck Here me, we go. Right. We have... Tipster, cheers, my dude, versus Colleen. I think, fuck me, right? Yeah, I don't know. For me, it seems like a, it's fuck me right slash, fuck me right, fart joke. Yeah, fart joke. I do like fart joke. I do like fart joke as well. All right, I'm going to, yeah, I'll have them queued up in the future. Okay, sweet, thank you. Getting it going right now. Love ya, no homo. So here's the first here's the first poll. We have big tip versus uh fart joke. Little, oh yeah, and that's I mean the Thank the, God. The exit poll is showing yes. what we all thought was just cheers my dude is making a huge powerful Really? Right out oh, there. Oh, I'm so glad to see that. So that's, yeah. I mean, happier. that's what I expected. You 70 be, uh, it's just uh, I really thought Colleen she just she has so much pull. <laughs> To me, this is this is a, a winner potential. So I'm not surprised that Tipster came out fat, furious, and making a statement. <laughs> Why are people saying the poll blank? Poll blank. Don't worry about them. This is right. Blank poll. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of people say that. I see when it. you do poll, it's broken. It, what what no, is wrong with all of your computers? There's 8,000 votes. Everybody, yeah. uh, it's fine. I see what's happening here. 73% for big tip. And congratulations, he's he's advancing. There's no problem there. There's no question, huh? Okay. I didn't think so. I didn't. Think um, I guess if you're on, if it's the people that are saying it's broken, are you on mobile? And if so, maybe you need to update your <laughs> uh, app or something. I, I don't know why so many people would have it broken like that. All right, let's keep going. All right, We've well, got Dipster's so much ground to cover. Has made it. Now this is this is one that I personally love, but I think that I might be somewhat in a minority group here. This was uh, the year of the uh, monologues, I feel. I love the monologues. They, there's a lot of them. So this is Charlie going on and on about the cookie scandal, uh, which <laughs> right. was, as you know, uh, a monumental it's, moment. It's fucked up, yeah. It, it, it changed my perception of the year. And here, so here's Charlie uh, talking about Pokemon's cookie controversy. The success rate of, like, $28, no matter how you spend this, is a lot for some fucking cookies. Right. And I think the way she keeps trying to break it down and rationalize it is pretty disingenuous. It's $7 a bag, and that's still expensive, but it then is. you also have yeah. to factor in that the bags aren't even big to begin with. True. It's four it's ounces per bag. Four ounces right. of cookies for $7 is still a lot. It's outrageous. Especially when you compare it to the the product that they're basing it off of and supposedly approved upon, uh -huh. the Tootsie Midnight Cookies. Right. Those were $10 a bag for 14 ounces. So even though the Tootsie Midnight expensive. Cookies were $3 more per bag, they offered you 10 ounces more of right. product. We're crunching And the they were sold here. in Costco. A lot of people really enjoyed them, but right. most people didn't like the price. That was a pain point of that. Right. $10 for a bag of cookies is a lot. It's so $7 very, mm -hmm. for a smaller bag of cookies, significantly smaller, right. is a lot too. Like, it is. It, it's, it's it doesn't even matter more. how you boil down this math. Yeah. <laughs> All roads lead to this being an expensive yeah. product. That's right. the brass tax of it. That is the hard pill to swallow. It's true. That's it's true. hard. It's hard. Nope. It's hard for it's, me to accept it. Really but it is. It is an expensive cookie. The way of spinning this. <laughs> That's an expensive cookie. I don't want to admit pack it. Of these cookies isn't expensive. It is. And to try and call people broke for not buying it or not being able to afford it is oh, really up. some out of touch shit. And the really there foul. It is. So thank you, Charlie, for breaking down the the logistics. I love that one. I love it personally. <laughs> it's, a classic. it's just so much hubbub over the dumbest thing. <laughs> Bro, is this man went yapping. straight to the yapping. blackboard. He's doing like hardcore like calculus on the on the blackboard, like Goodwill hunting shit. <laughs> yeah. 
What love? Is yapping, bro. Were you saying something? No? Oh, just okay. yapping. That was just fault. yapping. He's yapping about it's the yapping. However, Abba and Preach had a big year. This is... Oh, God, I love this one. This one is one of my favorites. So Abba and Preach, this is a bundle. This mm -hmm. is Remember When We Used to Burn the Witch and Break Those Eggshells. So first, let me play. Yeah. There's something that we're missing. Whenever we talk about burning the witch. Preach. You know the era where we used to burn the witch? Yep. That era never really stopped. Oh, shit. The type of witch we was burning changed. Wait, we're literally burning people alive? Because <laughs> I don't know if you know that, but they actually were burning people alive. Right. So when you say that never stopped, I'm assuming that's what you mean. <laughs> so, see him cry like that. I so that was that one. I love that one. Yeah, that's uh, a good one. It's so good. But here, this is the one that I fucking love this one. I can't lie. The eggshells. <laughs> And in order to comprehend, you're gonna have to break some. <laughs> comprehend. In order to comprehend and to eat the uh, the, the, the omelet of knowledge, you're gonna need to Preach. break those eggshells. Mm. And it's gonna cause a bunch of problems and shit. You're gonna have the courage to break that shell. Yeah. <laughs> so in order to comprehend, we have to oh. break that egg. The the the, the 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 in order to comprehend. So that is uh, the Those eloquent uh, reach, mm -hmm. or Absolutely. no? Absolutely, really right? nice performance. So these are great. I I don't I, know. There, but. there is going to be a clear winner here. I just <laughs> yeah. started the uh, poll, and uh, yeah, <laughs> as predicted. Let me throw it on. Oh, the that's a QR here. code. You know what? I can't even. I agree. I mean, the Advent preach one is so it's damn good. So good. Burning it's the so witch. good. I can't actually. I can't Gotta even put that on Abba. I mean, that's just that's just a preach exclusive. Those yeah. eggshells. Yeah. So um, Abba and Preach taking at eighty four percent. Oh is my god! What we it's call another a blowout, blowout here. people. So thank you, Critical, for the great entry. But you are outdone, my friend, by some of the best in the biz. Right and there, it is. God, I'm already looking at this next round, and my God, this is like. This That's is, uh, gonna. That one's Sophie's gonna be choice tough. right here. I wonder if we should do it now, because it's all on the. Th no, 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 no. There's, there's rules. We'll come back. There's protocols. Yeah, you know? you're right. You're right. We can't change the rules already. What rules, you sons of bitches? All right, next bracket. We've got Glizzy Overdrive versus mm. DJ Khaled. Tell him to bring out the whole ocean. I love mm. that Khaled one. That's a strong one this year. Khaled is so back, dude. He's so Cappuccino, dude. dude. He's just he's blowing up on Instagram. Everyone is rediscovering the joy of Khaled. I I think his shtick now is super funny. I, yeah, I'm it's not even, great. I think it's like not even ironically funny. I think it's just straight up. He's doing. I think he knows it then. too. He seems to yeah. have just embraced the meme. Dude, he's which is great. he's played into create that cappuccino one's crazy. <laughs> gotta be like Al Pacino. And he goes, huh? He goes, huh? <laughs> cappuccino. <laughs> we're stronger. Together we're he goes, and what is this? Water. <laughs> so anyway, here's Glizzy Overdrive, friend of the show, a great guy. Yeah. We love him. Shout out to Glizzbot. So good. Think of the ice cream. Think of the hard me. I heard you too. Think of the Glizzy. <laughs> 100 Glizzies entering Glizzy Overdrive. <laughs> We are locked in. Thank you for over 160 glizzies and doing glizzy overdrive. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, such a great moment. I mean, this was a nice arc. I loved having him on the show. Yeah. I loved the, um, I love his whole thing. So and that's it, glizzy overdrive. It, it, it's good to play in, uh, Moments where you wouldn't expect to hear them. You do. You sneak them in. <laughs> you really People do. People shouldn't forget the just the, the little solid one. one that you do. Can you do a little? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that one. That one wow. tears down the house quite frequently. It's a banger. Yeah. So that's Glizzy Bot, friend of the show, and DJ Khaled, incidentally, also a friend of the show. Right. Uh, tell him to bring out the whole ocean. DJ Khaled's big year. Tell him to bring out the whole ocean. <laughs> Tell him to bring out the whole ocean. Uh. Tell him to bring out the whole ocean. 
I think this was the first one. This is the one that created it. This is what kicked it off, yeah. Show him to bring out the whole He just kept saying the same thing. Show him to bring out the whole ocean. I'm not a seafood guy, so... But to me, that shit looks so gross. I, I, I guess people like seafood, what can I say? Show him to bring out the whole ocean. Yeah, you, it's not just that he keeps repeating it, but he is... The inflection is identical. <laughs> yeah. It's like he Tell is a sound. He's an artist. Ocean. It's so bizarre. He's saying it exactly the same every time. What an ear. Oh my god. Tell him to bring out the whole ocean. Let him know. <laughs> <laughs> Through the side of his mouth. Look at that. Lobster. That does look Straight from the Bahamas. It looks gnarly. You guys don't like lobster? Oh, I, I don't so, eat seafood uh, anymore, but when I, uh, when I was a kid, I loved lobster. That looks delicious. I frankly, I find it really right chewy and just weird and I don't know. I, I But again, I'm not... I'm very seafood opposed for whatever reason. Like I can eat fish, but anything beyond that, like crustaceans or shellfish or anything, just ain't about it. No, octopus. I can't touch any of that stuff, man. They're too alien. Oh, he loves it though. Cal loves it. God did. God did what? God did. The other one that I think is worth watching is him being like, "And what is this?" And and this, and perhaps, uh, but here, here's and a, perhaps this, right? Uh, and perhaps this. Though but, that is DJ Khaled. It, I never play those. You right, don't. it's true. We do like that, but oh, okay. There it is then. All right, so I'm gonna throw up uh, round three here. So we got Glizzy Overdrive mm -hmm. versus Khaled. Bring out the whole ocean. This one could go either way, frankly. The Glizzy one. Yeah, I don't one, know. I really very don't versatile. know. Very versatile. Khaled, however, huge year. <laughs> Uh, the votes are stream are flowing in. Tell him to bring out the whole ocean. Massive dumps. So apparently, if you change your uh, light to light mode on on mobile, you'll see the text because it's white or black on black on dark mode. Oh, so it's a dark mode then. Yeah. So if you change it to light mode, apparently some people have said they can see it again. Uh huh. Yeah. Maybe give that a shot if you're on mobile and you still can't see the polls. Uh, it sounds like it might be a bug in the like YouTube app. Thank you, Ian. I guess this this doesn't factor into the voting, but just for to, for old times' sake, to mm -hmm. remember the year that we've enjoyed. This is called what? That's just avocado toast. That's just, I love she goes. No, that's just avocado toast. <laughs> <laughs> what? Turkey sausage. This is called what? Turkey and this is called what? And what is this? Those are pickled banana peppers. And what is this? <laughs> and perhaps what is this? <laughs> Water. <laughs> <laughs> That's Sunday water, so. morning, Sunday brunch. Like, why did he talk brunch. like that? I don't know, but I love it. He's, I don't know. He's adopted this whole like persona. It's awesome. This is called what? That's just avocado. I love how she's wow. like. That's just avocado toast. Everybody knows what that is. But well, also, I love his fruit portion. It's like three blackberries. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's there. Yeah. Well, the people have spoken. We're looking at a blowout, glizzy, a glizzy blowout. This does. Seem, this is the closest one so far, but still a clear winner here. Sixty percent glizzy, forty percent Khaled. True that it was close, but our friend uh, Glizzy Bot is taking a lead and moving on to the next bracket. So congratulations! Very good. I'm happy for him, frankly, as a as a viewer of the show, I'm happy for him. Light mode working for people, guys. Change to light mode, apparently. Change to light mode. YouTube is on their shit. Always. But, but at what, what oh. cost? You're gonna <laughs> yeah, get light, go blind. Mode, light mode universally uh, reviled. Yeah, everyone hates that. So, up next, we've got a huge Trump packet. Aha. I think this was the year of Trump sound bites. He had some heaters. Well, what's funny, because he was Every not even year. in the spotlight this year. Like, next year is going to be the Trump year. Yeah, well, don't forget that earlier, there was that, like, two-month period of time earlier this year where he got arrested, like, four times. <laughs> that, yeah. <laughs> so he, he did have a decent amount of uh, exposure this year. That's true. <laughs> so here is um, the first one. Shut up, silly woman. Shut up, silly woman. <laughs> Shut up. Silly woman, <laughs> shut up! What's the context there? I don't remember. Is he just telling someone to shut up? Probably not. It's no, probably he was maybe even was quoting somebody. 
This is a uh, an You can do it, baby. I love this you one's so iconic. Much. I mean, and she, and just bad news, bad things are happening. This one's crazy. Uh, uh, Mom, I'm sorry. <laughs> Mom, I didn't do a part. That one yeah. is so good, honestly. He gets so into character, dude. He's he's halfway to being at the at the bank of a river with his grandma's pubes brushing upon his face. No. Okay. Uh, here's him, uh, turn up the mic. <laughs> oh, this is, this is just... Because this is the worst microphone I think I've ever had. <laughs> I hope you can hear me back there. <laughs> Justin, don't pay the bill for this mic. I'm blowing out my voice talking to this stupid mic. This is the worst mic I've ever had. <laughs> okay, now we'll get back to the speech. I'm trying to get their attention. Turn up the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like an audio system. Is it okay? <laughs> and then I don't pay a bill, and they say Trump doesn't pay his contract. Wait, you know? well, you, it's unbelievable! It's a you, yeah, you still pay. Money. You still owe them money, bro. The state of it, but it's not my deal. It's not my deal. I have a good mic. <laughs> I always have. You don't have a good mic. It's a very difficult deal. You walk out for tough time. for two weeks. <laughs> you're talking. talking you say, about? "What the hell happened to his voice?" The state of Israel is a blessing to the world. Our prayers are <laughs> with them now, and this. Terrible. So, um, <laughs> he's having mic issues, clearly. Oh, we, God. We religiously uh, quote that around the office. <laughs> Turn up the mic. Turn up the mic. Yeah, the yeah. worst mic I've ever and had. And by the way, I want to say... If it he is notorious for not paying people, but I find it funny because he's like, I'm a man of the people. And this here, mic, this sound people are never getting paid stiff. by me because the mic was quiet. <laughs> Turn up the world. That's and actually way, insanely fucked up, dude. Anyway. Here is, uh, it's 100 degrees here. For the press, it's about 110 degrees in this room. Nice job with the air conditioning, whoever. <laughs> but, but you know what the press will say? You know what the, they'll say? Trump didn't look well. He was extremely what do you mean? wet. It's 104 <laughs> or 5 degrees no, in this room. No, you look great, room. sir. But we're okay with Go it, ahead. right? You look great, <laughs> sir. We're all very, and we're all rooting for you. <laughs> um, don't call him a fat pig. This one was really something about uh, Chris Christie. He's defending his dear friend no, no. Chris Christie against uh, fat shaming, and he's a good man for that. Here he is. Oh, Christie's he's eating right now. He can't be bothered. <laughs> the same rally, perhaps. His it looks like looking it. He's looking extremely wet. Yeah. Sir, please do not call him a fat pig. That's very disrespectful. <laughs> Don't call him. See, I'm, I'm trying to be nice. Don't call him a fat pig. You can't do it. <laughs> you can't do that. That's the president. So my now, friend. because you're not allowed to do that, and therefore uh, we're not going to do it, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah. no, Christy. That part is so funny. People no, thought that George it. Bush Jr. was crazy, the shit he would say. <laughs> oh but God. like Trump is really setting the bar to a new level. Oh, it's, new... yeah, there's no comparison. <laughs> yeah, it, the, the. My the, political the, enemies, they're fat pig. <laughs> the, the Bush isms are, are quaint. In they comparison. seem cute. Yeah, quaint, <laughs> really. Yeah. Sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then here is the, honestly, this is pretty much the crown jewel. I mean, this is the real one, in my opinion. I did everything right, and they indicted me. And so far has not... What the fuck is this mic? I did everything right, and they indicted me. Why is it... <laughs> now, that's a bad <laughs> That's mic. the worst mic that he's ever had. <laughs> that, you don't hear him complaining mic. there. Yeah. Yeah, I seem to remember that a bunch of the feeds were <laughs> fucked up on this one. I did everything <laughs> right, and they indicted me. I did everything right, and they indicted me. <laughs> uh, well, here we go. I mean, excuse, I'm tired because I had to wake up at 4 a.m. to change my whole bedding. Oh, God, right. <laughs> and then we set up the dog pen, too, because we're like, he's not ready. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. Uh, uh, Mom, I'm sorry. <laughs> so that whole Trump packet yep. versus Howie Mandel, our very own, uh, this is champion from last year's champion and who graced us this June and dropped a new one. Here it is. Show us child pornography. All right, let's see. She's the only one that understands the game. Show us child pornography. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we got him so good. 
Thank God. Thank he God. He's such a legend. We're just tuning in just right now. Leaning into it, you know? Oh, he, we got him so such good Such a for good that. sport. We got him so good for that. That was my mom, I think, set him up for that one. She mom has the funniest guesses. <laughs> Now, hey Howie. Yes. I just want to let you know. Soul's no longer asking to move on, and that's what bothers me. That is concerning. Sal, are you okay? There's was, police said, outside. He said move on until she brought up child pornography, and he went, "This is good. <laughs> this is clickbait." Howie, I want to tell you something. Okay. Did I just get canceled? No, but you just just get soundbited. Yep. And there it is. I felt that immediately that this was. I <laughs> that is gonna be he did us a great a <laughs> really gracious Child favor showing up and we got him though we got wow, him. So, i mean this round is another heater round i don't know i don't know so you have the whole trump sound uh set although i would really crown jewel is i did everything right and they indicted yeah me. that's the that's the bang but then you got everything right and they indicted show us me. child pornography is so good okay <gasps> this is a close one. Oh, oh wow. yes it is okay we guys are off to a tight race here everybody you're gonna want to get your vote in because right now it's 52 percent audio <gasps> trump audio package versus 48 percent oh how we show us child pornography God. this is close this show is like us. final round close show us it is not budging. We have 5,600 votes, people. Show us. Oh, 51% is tightening. 51. Oh, wow. It is tightening. 51 to 49. <laughs> I'm trying to get their attention. Turn I'll up keep the it mic. going, but it, right now it's 50. Oh, uh, it's teetering. 52, 51. It sure is close, though. Howie Mandel fans, get your votes in. Don't Show me. Child. Pick. I gotta say, stop saying child P. We're gonna get. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, Trump. Just show us. Just Trump show is us. actually inching ahead now, 53%. Oh, taking a, wow. Okay. Taking a lead. We have 11,000 votes. I'll, I'm will i gonna lock this up in. I think we can lock it up, frankly. Shut up. We'll give it another thousand. Let's give it a, a, another little bit here, but it does look like Trump is just edging Silly out woman. our boy Howie. It's about 110 degrees in this room. Yeah. Well, wow. Okay. You know, I didn't really know where, which direction this was going to go. I thought Howie might have a... I mean, Howie was close. And yep. I do love that soundbite. Well, unfortunately, this is probably a little preview of next year's election. Let's wrap up this poll here. Oh, you think Trump is going to win? <laughs> He's ahead in all the polls significantly yeah, but now. Yeah, so. so far. Up. A year's a long ways from now, yeah. He might be in jail by then, so exactly. that might that might impact him. I don't think that'll affect his numbers. <laughs> it might help. Yeah, Trump took an he just took another point in the in the battle here, so we're going to lock it up. Thank you 15,000 votes. Wow. Okay. Trump audio package takes the win with 54%. Sorry, Howie. I know you were really rooting for that soundbite to be immortalized. Show us. <laughs> but uh, yeah. we will always we will always remember extremely wet here's a fun bracket Phidias it's interesting huh <laughs> versus death bell sound immortalized by Mitch McConnell's when he oh, saw the good, um the Man, death we got some demon. good ass sound bites this year i gotta say it was a good year every year is just full of just so yeah that's... it's just such a tapestry of just fantastic cultural moments so here's phidias our new fascination we love him like i didn't have a relationship after you but i'm i'm glad i didn't because uh I don't know. It it wasn't a priority. I mean, you obviously miss connection and affection in that way, but it's okay. It's interesting. Yeah? <laughs> when uh, when you have multiple relation, no, multiple relation. I mean, I had you, okay. and then I was with Olga. Uh -huh. It's interesting how you compare, how you compare. When another new person potentially comes in the li your life, it's yeah. like you compare, oh, what is we did? Oh, is she <laughs> more beautiful? Is she more cool? Is she more loving? Is she, uh, like, did you have this as well? How is... Did she, I did. Did she understand anything he just said? I mean, over the context is pretty wild, too. He's yeah. like... Yeah, no, it's interesting how when I got a new girlfriend, I was like, she's cooler, she's hotter. 
I also, uh, I guess to add to this, it's from that same uh, video. I combed through the whole thing to find his best moments of mumbling, which is what, uh, addition to that main one, I play. This, th this uh, is also up for vote as the same package. And go ahead, because this one is phenomenal. I, I know, but to answer... Uh, the thing I don't, I don't like. Uh, this one is so I'll versatile. It's so much fun. I'm, I don't catch up with anybody. I like, love talking with Phineas. Our conversations like, are always I'm super engaging, up, <laughs> super so deep. She's I have about here, four of them. Going to catch up and talk and like see how each other is doing, not in messages or video calls. Right. Like in real life. <laughs> ah. Right. No, we didn't meet through video call. Mm. Okay. Right, 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 I can right. reach out and talk for. Yeah, do you can email me. Time and like catch up, but it's kind of not how yeah. I want. You could text or email. So, I don't know. It's it's interesting, but it, is. it felt kind of wrong. I don't know if mm. to another another right, 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 right. Like, <laughs> how fucked up I am. I, that oh God, I it's so funny. The last. I Phineas was the really world. um <laughs> such a surprise too. How we stumbled upon his podcast channel live on the on the show uh -huh. and it just was such a fun the butts podcast he's Me live is. right now actually he's doing a 14 day marathon <laughs> we noticed he's is only 30 <laughs> every time i, I pop him. in he's asleep <laughs> 22 uh people are watching it's me. It's Phineas. I popped in there yesterday on the podcast YouTube account and started screaming at him to get up. I saw that was so funny. <laughs> Wake up. Wake up, Phineas. But there's 22 people watching day 14. He's in a VR headset for 30 days straight. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It's kind of a cool experiment. It's an interesting. It is interesting. Yeah. <laughs> but he's just always asleep. But I, Oh, there you go. What's okay. weird is he's live streaming this to his... 2.5 million subscriber channel. I don't know if this, I think this could have been edited because there's 20 people watching you. And I think it's all just been a continuous thing. It's interesting. Wait, was he driving? <laughs> In the previous Someone thumbnail. Was <laughs> Hold on. I mean, what's the problem? You can see. Here, let's see. A, he, no, he's not. He's, he's driving. In, no, he's got to be. He's in the passenger seat. Yeah, he has a driver we looked earlier. Thank God. Thank God. Okay, it's okay. It's me, it's Phineas. It is, bro. Okay, good. How's he doing? I How do you call it? Uh, uh, <laughs> it's interesting. Line, they all talk like that. Everyone in his life is like, uh... A line of look at the stars. And I was like, wow. Yeah. yeah. He's been one half year. Dude, he's been sleeping a long time. This is from 215? He's been one half year. I guess it's just two hours. Wait, this li how long is this live going then? Because it's day For like 14. thirty days, I think. So that day fourteen. Oh, he's moving. Oh, he's stirring. Yeah, it's not fake. So, he's actually. <laughs> yeah, no, he's in there. Phidias would. He's the real deal. Say what you will. Uh, but well, now he has forty-three. So wake up, everyone's saying, wake up, <laughs> wake, wake up. up, wake up, Phidias, what? wake up. Uh, what is change like? Some things that change in your mindset. Mm. It's, in like, it's interesting. So first, it was you were the first person to kind of on my life, my life was like, uh, it's good to share moments with Get people. Get a close up it's of this. To Ian? Do all, like I, I love the having a person to talk <laughs> when you are down, when you are like having like sometimes when when, when I'm alone, I, I miss this. This is one of the things that I, I miss. Like. Just laying there and like we're hugging, like just oh, so many problems. All just... right, Phidias, thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Phidias. Uh, <laughs> strong entry. I love the contrast too. It cracks me up because like all of these like podcast clips that we found of him like mumbling like that, but then his like videos, he's doing like After the Mr. Beast the... style thing and like you know, he still has an accent, but he's like yelling, he's enunciating and everything and and. Somehow, when you go into podcast mode, he just loses because all of I, that. I think it's just, it's rehearsed. He has more time. He probably right, does yeah. it a bunch of times. He's, he energizes it. He uses all his energy in his videos. He doesn't have any left for the damn podcast. <laughs> right. got to yeah. chill out. Fair. You know. Uh, he's sleeping the whole time. Damn. Wake up! Wake up, Phidias! So it's Phidias After versus the, in the uh, Mitch McConnell oh. seeing the Death Note demon in the audience. <laughs> Here it is. This week has been good bipartisan cooperation. 
and a string of uh, uh, <laughs> the joke of course was that he saw the grim reaper in the audience saying mid it's time your soul is mine we made a deal years ago did you forget I'm here to collect Mitch. Anything else you want to say? I'm sure it's good back to you. I'm waiting. Anything else to do with us? Great. Go back to you. He just gives up. Let's go back to you. He's still he's still serving, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, he's the man. Between him and Joe Biden, what's the median so age? The, uh, <laughs> and Nancy, on the Nancy Pelosi's in her eighties, although yeah, she's still up. Uh, she's she's up. The top, the most powerful people in the world have a medium age, or in the United States, have a median age of like 85. Yeah, it's awesome. Great. So anyway, let's let's see. This is real interesting stuff. We got Phidias <laughs> versus the Mac, uh, McConnell death uh, knell. Yes, indeed. Uh, I am well, throwing up the poll. The Here bell we... tolls for thee. Go. Yeah, this is, I love them both, frankly. Ooh. <laughs> it's oh. interesting. Yeah. I'm actually surprised. I'm not. I thought it was going to lean the other way. Death bell sound is winning resoundingly. Wow. 65%. And I'll tell you what, this bell sound is just prolific. It's so funny. Every time it transforms <laughs> the moment. Right. No matter what it is, the <laughs> bell is a powerful, powerful contender. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Zach is, uh, he's, he's like a surgeon with that thing. And I mean, listen, Phidias is fantastic. So the bell, I think it's just a, a testament to the bell's strength. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It's like not even close. Again, I will say this is the year of the monologue. Mm -hmm. This bell is very iconic. Yeah. And it can be used in anything. True. A lot of utility. A lot of utility. It you even use it yeah. whenever we talk about Taco Bell. <laughs> right. the bell. I want Taco Bell. Oh. This might be long enough for two meals. Did we order? We did. We did. What's the ETA they give it? ETA says between 157 and 207. Okay. So about a half hour. You think now. they're telling the truth, though? Mm -hmm. Well, they've pushed it a few times, so I, I hope that this they're is keeping the right an eye. One. Oh, yeah. boy. I have to order Taco Bell next. Oh, boy. You might have Taco to. Taco Bell's fast, right? Historic. Yeah. Uh, sort of. No, it's not. <laughs> no, they, they're fast. They're, they're the fastest ones. I guess it's I just it's such well. a crapshoot with the... I don't know. Oh, uh, anyway. I see people uh, saying about the my poll is blank. We addressed this earlier. Apparently, it is a bug on the YouTube mobile app that some people have found a workaround that if you turn off dark mode, it fixes it. So if you are in dark mode right now on your phone and you're not seeing the polls, try turning that off. Go to light mode, and theoretically, it should fix it. Dude, YouTube is so fucked. It's literally, it keeps going between 40 and 30,000 viewers. Like, what do you mean? Uh, I've been keeping an eye on that. So the actual, um, like, chart is consistent, but the concurrent viewer count keeps fluctuating by, like, tens of thousands. So, so annoying. I what? think it's just bugged. So uh, what is it at on your end? Uh, I'm seeing 37K. Okay. Yeah, that's where it was at. Yeah. Okay, so, I mean, I love the bell. I'm happy for the bell. Yeah. Phidias, maybe next year. We'll, we'll, we're going to stay tuned for sure. Yeah. So keep the good content up especially the podcasts, and I'm sure we'll we'll get you back in there again before too long. But congratulations to Mitch McConnell, still alive. The, he's left the Grim Reaper on red. You know, it's funny, I'm seeing in the chat, obviously the bell won, and won resoundingly. The the Phidias fans, they are incensed by this. I noticed that. There's a there, there, there's people with strong opinions saying the bell's overrated, and yeah. people saying Phidias was robbed. It's me. It's but Phidias. this is democracy in action. This is what we do here. And I mean, the votes continue to rise, and the percentages are not changing at all, which tells me that and this is the will of the people. Phidias is very funny, so I know what the, where they're coming from, and yeah. I feel like it, with some people, it really connects but uh for me i i would vote for the bell i think i actually i'm on and i'm unable to vote because i'm logged in as the account but anyway uh congratulations death bell the death bell knell and uh ooh, the next bracket <laughs> is really exciting to me steven crowder that doesn't work for me either ooh, watch yeah. it versus Boogie, a late entry, but a strong entry. 
I never did. And the whole interview. Mm. No. Boogie's might have a big year this year. His are insanely good, but here's Crowder. I never did. What do you need me to pick up? I'll get it. I'll be back when I'm back. But this no, is actually that quite. Work either. Yeah, I'm not. The whole video is actually quite sad. Yeah, the. the but we 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 forget about the sad context, and we like to enjoy just this moment of him sounding like a baby. Thank you, baby. What do you need me to pick up? I'll get it. I'll be back when I'm back. No, that doesn't work either. It doesn't work either. Oh my god, I forgot just how. Wow. Such a bitch. I can't believe that's the context to that silly quote. She goes, uh, I just need the car because I need I just need to run some errands. That doesn't work either. No, that doesn't work either. Why are people saying uh, F? What are we Fing for? Oh no. It froze for a second, but it seems better now. What happened? It seemed like it was buffering. People are saying F. Oh, they're back? Yeah. We back? YouTube. What's going on with YouTube together, today, man. bro? Seriously. What is happening? Dumbass idiots. Um I don't know. We may have uh, we may have missed the context on the Crowder work. then if we were out. Oh, for real? Should I? Wa I'll watch it again. I mean, just yeah. <laughs> so Crowder. In case we missed it. Uh, doesn't work either. One more time for the people. Who what do you need me to pick up? I'll get it. I'll be back when I'm back. No, that doesn't work either. It doesn't work back either. either. We definitely had a really good time with this one, and it just it really shows just what a bitch he is. That doesn't work either. He really. How does he? How can anybody respect this man at this point? I don't know that many. It blows do. my mind. I know he has fallen off significantly because of that, but um. Watch it. I I know, and these yeah, are I traditional value people, and but also like they're out. These are guys like men are alphas and women are submissive, and it's like, dude, he sounds like a doesn't work child. Either. He's a whiny child. That doesn't work either. Um. So I, that's I, Crowder's entry. Boogie is, however, tipping the scale. Not, and I, that's not a joke Cheers, about his way. I just mean, like, in a competition sense. Mm, of course. He's, tip <laughs> He's tipping the scale. You said I'm looking it. at it. You're the, I quote You said it. You said it. that I said that. And I never did. Quote I, I never did. did. I, love I never did. I never did. I never did. Yeah, you did. I never You're did. I got a question. I never <laughs> did. <laughs> I never <laughs> did. I never did. <laughs> But you he said was, I did. Yeah, that's, you wrong wrong that's you being wrong about me. That's you being wrong about me. So that is Boogie. Deni he denies it. Whatever it is. I never did. I never did. Yeah, that but, one has really infected my brain. I say that to Allie all the time. When I wish you... I, stuff. You know what, Zach? I wish you played that one more. I, I think I played it. He plays it a decent He does. Because yeah. okay. I just love it so much. <laughs> Make, it sparks joy in me. That being I said... I'll be like, Zach, why don't you ever play, or no, how do I make, Zach, why don't you never not play that soundbite? I had to do a double negative for it to work, which <coughs> doesn't make a lot of sense. But you're, I never did. Yeah. Okay, we tried. <laughs> but that's not the real entry. For me, the real entry is the Boogie interview clip, and boy howdy, is this a monologue. Because you are speaking employment yeah you're seeking out new work opportunities absolutely <laughs> tell me this, a little bit about this to me is like one of the best things of all time mm -hmm. i mean this is internet history your background and where you think you want to go with the experience <laughs> that you already have um i did work at a small gaming store back in 2006, 2007. I am disabled, uh, <coughs> recognized by the state of Arkansas, but also the United States government. There's that. Now, the, the downside to that is I am extremely depressed. So there's some mental health issues that we bring to the table. And then physically, uh, I, I am morbidly obese. I have no references, uh, no work history, and no education. And when you Look at her Google face. my name. Wait, I didn't even notice her face. <laughs> wow. He didn't even and wait, he didn't did. even tell you the best part, lady. <laughs> you taking you back might now. see rumors that I beat my ex-wife and I am also a pedophile. You should mention I'm also a felon. <laughs> okay. Uh, is that all? I mean, what is left? Mm. Also, I currently have dead bodies in my <laughs> right now. Like what how do you top that? I don't know. That, okay, uh, he might be the most unemployable person alive. You might be right should about that. I'm also a felon. I love her unaffected. Okay. 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 She, dude, I don't know how she played that <laughs> off. Two years. 
That's crazy. So Man's that, I mean. And I am also a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. Is that the part that gets you, though? When he says the, but, the pedophile. Well, because it just gets worse and worse and worse. <laughs> and you don't think it can get worse, but it does. Because yeah. I beat my wife. Oh, yeah, and also people, it, they might be saying that I'm, I might be a pedophile as well. <laughs> that that's uh, Which I, is the worst thing you can be, pretty much. I play the monologue quite a bit, but the one I, I out of that, I play the pedophile soundbite the majority of the time. Yeah. I It's just, it's a masterpiece. I mean, you couldn't write it out in a funnier, mm -hmm. and better I'm way. A pedophile. <laughs> So, I mean, here it is. It's Crowder vs. Boogie. All right, throwing it up. Um, you know. Here we go. No, that doesn't work either. I mean, to me, I, I have a favorite, but I'll wait. I think it's I'll, I'll, I think it's obvious, though. Which No. Well, Crowder's getting some love. It's not all a blowout here. I never Actually, did. it's quite close. Shit. It's 60% oh. Boogie. My ex-wife and... Uh, Crowder's got some... 40% Crowder. And then physically, I mean, Crowder have... does have a lot of utility. Though he Zach busts out the watch it a lot. Watch it. Also like, the the no, like I just play the no that doesn't work. I play the no. Right. <laughs> no, it doesn't work either. So okay, I thought this would be a boogie blowout. However, I see that there's a lot of passionate Crowder fans in the audience. Forty one percent. Shout out to all the Crowder no. fans who yeah. watch the H Street podcast. People, uh, Lyra. There's is much overlap there. She's in the minority every time. Well, this is this is democracy in action, my friends. I, you voted. That's all that democracy matters. Democracy manifest. I mean, it's tightening still. Forty-two percent Crowder, although it's really not close enough. I think to I never did. to extend. I never did. It. I never did. Yeah, with ten thousand votes, we're gonna call it fifty-eight percent boogie. But well done, Crowder. Actually, making put up a fight. A valiant. Put up. He put up a fight. Phenomenal entry by Crowder. Any other year, my friend. Any isn't, other. Isn't that one of his like slogans? Like. Fight like hell. Fight, or fight like hell. Yeah. Yep. He fought like hell. I don't know. But as usual, fighting. he lost. Fight your wife like hell. Yeah. Fight, yeah, your, right. wife like fight your wife to prevent her from <laughs> getting the car keys. I should mention I'm like also hell. a felon. About two years. You know, I haven't ended it yet, and Crowder keeps going up. Should we maybe keep it going There's another no, minute here? Forty-three percent. He's on the right. I don't think it's possible. 57 It's a big is, gap to overcome. Yeah. You're right. I mean, there's already 14,000 votes. But every time I look at it, he, he's no. up another point. Let's see. I'll wait till 15,000 votes and see if okay. it goes. But I, I, don't, I don't think statistically it's even possible for him to <laughs> It's end. very unlikely. It's just uh, he does have some momentum, but probably not enough to overcome. 44. Shit. It's fucking... Mo oh, God. Right? Oh, see? It keeps moving in that direction. Crowder fans are entering the building. They're flooding in from Rumble. They heard that he's up, and they oh want to support God. their boy. Everybody who's seen, who's been showed Crowder's penis against their will is in the voting lobby right now, making their voices heard. And there's a lot of them. It could tip the did. scale, actually. But, I mean, My it's cl wife as close as it is now, it's 44% Crowder, 56% Boogie. I think we got to wrap it up. Okay. It's a valiant effort. That's 50 Valiant effort. Votes. He fought like hell. Oh, like hell. He can be proud of that. <laughs> Very good. Up next. Jesse Lee Peterson's Gay Rant. Which is a beloved one. I'm still waiting. I still really want to meet him. <laughs> I'm Jesse sure he would have you on his show. Well, you I don't, gay? I don't yeah. want to reach out. I f he, should, he should ask me, I feel like. It does feel weird to... Contact hey bro, him to I go come on, on your show. show. Let's begin. Maybe right. he doesn't. Maybe maybe he doesn't like me. I'm really. I had no idea. I keep mentioning him. Nobody. Nobody. Like Jesse, I'm begging you, please. <laughs> I want to collab with you. You don't look gay. So anyway, uh, look, his his homophobic rants, and then versus loves. Where's my Shumpa Loompas? Wow, that's massive. That's quite a category. This is interesting. <laughs> so you okay? I'm gay. I didn't know you were gay. Yeah, well, I just told you. How did you become gay? <laughs> one doesn't become gay. One is born that way. Does God know you're gay? I believe so. <laughs> did he make you that way? I, that's my opinion. You think that God made you gay? I have no, you know, I don't, I don't know the, I'm not going to be presumed to uh, 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 plumb the depths of the, of the most high. But yes, I've, I've been gay as long as I can remember. <laughs> And so, have you been with men? 
Of course. I, I, I like he's such a fascinating interviewer. I don't think anybody does interviews like him. It's just <laughs> it's so fascinating to watch and it's entertaining as hell, even though obviously he's a demon. But he's all but almost like he's so silly. It's almost like non threatening demonic presence. Well, and there's also fairly from what I understand substantiated rumors he's getting that yeah it, it yeah. closeted there yeah. or or in denial or I, I don't know how you okay. want to define it but there, there there's a lot of buzz about him yeah uh, that having amazing. homosexual relations yeah. so yeah yep that adds First, another bizarre like angle to the whole thing yep tune yes really yeah really? this, is, this is mind-blowing <laughs> for you yeah Why is that because I never expected a, a priest and a father <laughs> of Epiphany Church to be gay. That you're, you sounds don't look like you're gay. coming from the assumption, what, what's look gay mean? You know, switching and soft looking. Really? And, that's what you call stereotyping. Oh, oh but That's called, uh, that's like if I were to say to you. And what's what, interesting too about these conversations is like you cannot get through to him. His points yeah, are no. so bad. <laughs> yeah. They're so obtuse. And no matter how hard you counter him, he doesn't listen. He just comes at you harder. <laughs> the same question. Yeah. Are you a man? Multiply. He, are you a man? And then you go like, well, you okay? I, are you a man? Well, I don't know. I mean, what do you mean by that? Well, like, do you mean like that I'm a male or do you mean like, are you a man? Are you a man? <laughs> it's awesome. So that's Jesse. We love him. I well, love him. I don't know about you guys. They're all like, there's more to that clip. We, we don't have to play, but there's some like, Really one-off weird fucking shit. In there. So you okay? Should I keep watching? Because I love I it. I didn't know you were. Okay. I, I've forward. been gambled at a father of Epiphany Church to be gay. That you're. You sounds don't look like you're gay. coming from the assumption. What you what's don't look, look gay. gay. You know, switching and soft looking. Really? And, that's what you call stereotyping. Oh, but that's called. Uh, that's like if I were to say to you, "Well, you're black. Where's your fried chicken?" Oh, brother, he went there, huh? <laughs> oh, wow. Well, I guess that is a, that is an example of stereotyping. At the house, and I can't wait to get home to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> so you know that's amazing. So are you, does amazing. Your, do your congregation know that Absolutely you're gay? Absolutely, they do. That is mind blowing. And so you think that God made mistakes? Um, that's a big question. Um, <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. I, I know where he's going. Yeah. So, That's a huge yeah. question. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, how does God. God... Wait, hold on. I'm no theologist, <laughs> but Definitely how not. does God make mistakes? That, well, uh, if theoretically he doesn't, but I think that's where Jesse is going with mm -hmm. this. Is, well, okay? just say no. That's the easy duck. Right. Because, if, you know, but, like, how does God make mistakes? Doesn't that undermine the whole, the whole ass fucking thing like if he makes some mistakes then he's no better than us uh, right well he's just yeah. a fucking dude. i have a feeling a jesse's larger. trying to set up a uh, a, a, a mind <laughs> trap i know guy. but if he gave the easy answer which is no right the, the mm. trap then would be conversation wrong. over right yeah yeah it's interesting you're it's, talking it's about everything that is that is involved at the not only but at the bottom thoughtful. of this universe but whatever, ever, what other, uh, whatever other inner universes exist. So wow. uh, I would say that um, <sighs> it's got to be. I don't think actually that force that we call God. Well, wait, this guy, this guy's a real. This force we call God. This guy's a priest. He's talking mm -hmm. like a damn. <sighs> wait, like, yeah, Ethan, you didn't get that. Yeah, that's why Jesse's so mind blown. I know, but he's a priest that's like, whatever this entity God is called, he doesn't sound like a... Yo, that's that's nice. oh, well, he's progressive, I mean, right? Yeah, he's yeah, super yeah progressive. I'm sure. Well, yeah, that doesn't yeah. even sound like Christianity. He's doing like, de like uh, whatever. Thanks. I'm not sure. Uh, I think it's nice. I'm not sure. He's definitely progressive, I mean. What's his name? Does it say? Uh, priest confesses to Jesse, I'm gay. That's the name of the video. <laughs> Great. Uh, what, uh, Tom Carey of Sacred Resistance LA. Sacred Resistance. I'm going to look up what denomination they are. It's probably like Lutheran or something. Uh, sacred really? Resistance. And so. Uh, but actually, also, I believe that things unfold in a moment for us, and that so that, you know, time itself is an illusion. I mean, oh my not, God. You know, that, 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 so. Um, <laughs> Who is how, this guy, how, man? 
the power of the... I didn't know Christians talked like that. I I'm ready to try. join his church. I've tried to explain to you. It's a, no, no, no. It's a big religion. There's Hold lots on. of different strains, you know? They're so, not all the fucking psychos. But no, I know, but they all believe like Jesus. That's the whole point. Is sure. God. I, sure. I in Sweden. That's literally what Christianity is. This is yes. very like Swedish vibe because in Sweden they even say I don't know if Jesus existed. Some priests like you know, is it is it just a story? It's like they 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 really are keep everything ambiguous. So I guess I just don't understand even fitting that kind of philosophy in the framework of Christianity. Right. It's well, I, I would I I will admit that uh, the more uh, fundamentalist or even just mainline Christians probably would say, oh, if you think that, then you're not a real Christian or whatever. Right. You know what I mean? But, yeah, yeah I mean, it's... Uh... So what's his denomination? Uh, I was trying to figure that out. Uh, I do see, when well, I, I search for I'm... Sacred Resistance LA, an Episcopal Diocese came up, but, um, so, but I, I don't know if that is his... Uh... What do Episcopals do? Isn't that when you eat fish? <laughs> Are you thinking of pescatarian? Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, I believe it. The Episcopal is a branch off of Anglican, which is the Church of England. It's I'm, really... I, I'm far from the right person. All right, well, so there it is. This, He's but... he. Uh, we love it. We love it. Yeah. And uh, no versus idea. fan favorite, I'm sure nobody is <laughs> going to say no to, to the Shumpa Loompa. Can see it? Can you switch so I can see it? Oh, I'm sorry. Or do I need the minimum? I got a All soft right. one. Okay. This is the fried chicken one. I got the circle one. Hard circle taco. One? Was this your first time trying Taco Bell? Uh, it wasn't the first time, it was the first time of you getting it after you moved here, right? Right, that's yeah. probably Oh, okay, so this a was a big moment. Yeah, so another soft one, and where's my Shumpa Loompa? <laughs> I told you, I think that they forgot one They thing. forgot my Shumpa Loompa, no! bro! What the hell? I'm so sorry, oh, I was that like, probably hurt. I was like you know there's what? one thing missing. See, they, they always, always forget do something, that. that's why I ordered a lot. Okay. I'm yeah. still, I, I ordered with, the, the, with that in mind, that they might lose something one. Something ain't gonna wrap. Yes. <laughs> So oh, wow. Why did it have to be the Chumpa Loompa, though? So yeah, that's up. tragic. Like There's... they knew. They're teasing me, bro. Teasing you know, me. I ordered Italian food over the weekend, and I got a pizza. They forgot the pizza. <laughs> what the fuck? They just brought a bag. I was like, what the fuck? No way. <laughs> You're I was messing like, with like, you forgot the fucking pizza. Okay. It's a big-ass box. Where's my Chumpa Loompa? Uh, cool. It was the kids' food, too. It was a fucking nightmare. Wait, you're, you're serious? They forgot the Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> they forgot the fucking pizza. Oh, my God. Um, so, there it is. Jesse Lee Peterson's gay rant versus Love's Shumpa Loompa disaster. Yo, look gay. <laughs> All right. I will it's say, about, I love the love one. These Jesse Lee Peterson ones are, like... They're so good. He's so funny. The, there's like, like, there's more in the clip. Like, he's got a line about keeping Earth clean and zebras. Go ahead and play your favorites. To keep the Earth clean and do what zebras do. Do what zebras do? Yeah, <laughs> and it, it's just like, and then he's got like this line. But being gay and being black is different. And like, let's be guns. Let's oh, no, Like, let's this is like some Fred Norris level shit. Like, it's so I good. I think the problem with Jesse is that we haven't really dedicated significant time to understanding and talking about him that I don't think the audience is fully caught up on the Jesse Lee Peterson uh, character. I mean, uh, come up a lot over the years, but you're yep. right. But we haven't yeah. done a true deep dive into him at any I, point. I sneak him in, like right. especially the... Uh... Amazing. Mind-blowing. Oh, yeah. Well, anyway, Jesse Lee Peterson, it doesn't even matter because you're getting blown out by Love Shumpa Loompa, 69%. Completely Loompa, blown 31%. Mind-blowing. I'm glad we didn't do the Jenna thing or whatever that is. I don't even know what that is. Wait, why are people saying rigged? Rigged how? You got 10,000 votes, 70% love. There's no rigged here. No, that, that's, Give a, me a break. that's a clear winner. Give me that's a break. I support genocide. Okay, bro. Genocide? Okay, no. No. That one we didn't enter. <laughs> Not included. Okay, very good. Congratulations, love. That's exciting for you. Yeah, How do you fun. feel? Do you feel? Oh, yeah, no, I feel honored, of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Jesse is catching up, but no way he's going to be able to close that gap. So, have I? I don't know if. Have I ever been up for a soundbite? Here's one of me. I don't know if I've ever been nominated. Uh, hmm. But anyway, it's me. The it's so. it. The un unintelligible scream. Still don't know what you're saying. From the, <laughs> from the, 
the live uh, <laughs> members drive versus Enrique. And golly, I love Enrique, so I don't think I've got much a shot here with this one. But here it is. Right now, I'm Set. back. Set. Set. Wait, what happened? From right now, I'm Set. back. Set. Set. What? It's Set. <laughs> Set. 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 You know what I'm saying. You sound like a karate master. Oh, Ela knew. That's the crazy part. She knew what I was saying. It's set. That's nuts that she knew. That, we, we speak. Our set. Our children go. Cobra Kai. Like Bruce goes. <laughs> exactly. Uh, he doesn't say daddy. He says. Day. Day. Aww. It's like one word. Day. 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 <laughs> so I say. Set. <laughs> yeah. oh. Shit. It doesn't make any yeah. sense. Yeah, I still don't get it. I still don't get it. Your yeah. explanation makes no it's sense. Shit. I think I don't know why it came up, but I was very <laughs> drunk. Uh, versus a really terrific one. I love the Enrique stuff, man. It is. So oh fun. yes, very uh, late comer, but. <laughs> And he's currently on tour, by the way, with Pitbull and Ricky Martin. Oh my God. It's shocking how bad it is. It's crazy. It's so cool. Like the worst karaoke you've ever heard. Uh, one at one small uh, <laughs> amendment. I forgot that we bundled in this one. Hello, everybody. Mine. Do you think he's a pathological liar? Whoa. Dude. The one where it goes. Uh, hey everyone, welcome back to On you. Purpose, the number one health podcast in the world. Thanks to each and Bro, every why one. do you need to like, <laughs> why do you feel the need to like, aren't you supposed to be humble? Like, why are you out here flexing like, oh, I'm number one in the world? Like, aren't you supposed to be a monk? Who said, who said he has to be humble? Who yeah, said literally. That? He, That's the with whole With eyes thing. like that, let him, let him cook, dude. Dude, I'm just saying he's go. a phony, baloney. <laughs> He's the realist. I agree. The Love you, Jay. Are the real. Love, Love you, Jay. You. It's a rainy day out here in Los Angeles. <laughs> thanks for thanks for that, guys. You should have known I was gonna lose when that happened. <laughs> I mean, you did. You I said did. That. Yeah, I said. <laughs> Jay Shetty didn't. Say Why didn't it was they a rainy include day? that? It's mind blowing. <laughs> it's mind blowing. Jay Shetty should have said it was raining. He didn't. <laughs> All right. That's my wrong. You gave us. An atmosphere when you build your podcast. Mm. Jay Shetty just leaves it. He just he says goes. His he name. goes. Oh, I'm the best. Yeah. Like, hey guys, welcome. I'm the best. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you say the sky is blue. I'm like here. Let's give some information that's relevant to all your lives that mm -hmm. could you know enrich you with knowledge and power. Yes. Um. So let's throw it up. Yeah. Because it's uh. Me, it's up. It's it. It's me versus Enrique. I'm voting for Enrique. I personally. Ooh, we got a close one our hands here it looks like there's no way mine is better i mean rainy day in los angeles was pretty iconic <laughs> that's true that one was fun well, and enrique enrique is a late los entry angeles. it was just within the last few weeks that we discovered plays this, the though. other ones then zach maybe that'll change the vote i only pulled uh that one that's from the, the only from one the I, recent touring that's the one i play though the, the one that we watched is the one that he has yeah. in his sound bank yes, yes. Uh, i can find the oh, uh the other okay. one so no so never mind no no Nope, that's not. But right, that one is that exhibit. is the soundbite is the one we we watch. Yeah. So, well, I'm gotta be. I'm surprised that y'all are, because I just thought the Enrique one is so funny. But oh, people are suggesting that that soundbite of you that we don't understand is you saying it's shet, like it's shetty. No, you're giving him props. <laughs> no, I clearly said I'm. I explained it's it shed. in the clip we it's watched. Shed. It's not shet. You did it's not shed. explain it clearly. I said I I combined it's it. It's it. It's it. Yeah. But why? Like, because Bruce does it. Why I brought it up, I have no idea. It was not relevant to the conversation. Got it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that's that's me. So, sorry, Enrique. Wow. Toppling Enrique. 
No, the uh, set and rainy day. Okay. Whatever you guys think. And yeah, rainy day in Los Angeles. We we got a lot of play out of that. <clears throat> it's true. That's true. Well, so that was round eight. So we are halfway through. Let's take the a look bracket. at our left side bracket then. Yeah. Let's see what we got. So to recap the winners here. It's going to be exciting. The next round. We had uh, round one was won by my boy, Tipster, <laughs> followed by a uh, preach of Abba and Preach, uh, talking about eggshells and witty Huge bracket. Huge right. bracket. Uh, down here, fan of the show, Glizzy, Ma the Glizzy King or Glizzy Master? Okay. Glizzy Bot. Glizzy Bot. <laughs> Glizzy Bot, neither. Uh, took round three. Round four, uh, our president, your president, you know him, you love him, Donald Trump. Dated me. Uh, with his audio package, uh, followed by the death knell sound of Mitch McConnell Ooh. seeing the Grim Reaper. And then we have in round seven, Boogie <laughs> taking it over that loser, idiot, moron, dumbass, Crowder. I oh, dumbass. Close, though. <clears throat> Uh, sorry, that was round six. Round seven was Love's uh, Shumpa Loompa taking it over. Uh, bro, that's mind blowing. Mm -hmm. And finally, Ethan edging out Surprise. Uh, Icon Enrique Iglesias with uh, It's a Rainy it's Day it. in Los Angeles. I'm it's sure it. surprised by that. So there you go. We have our first. It's a rainy day out here. Well, in Los there's Angeles. some really yeah. exciting brackets to look forward to there. <laughs> but now we're switching to the right side and we have a whole fresh new column to work through. Like I told you guys, this is a serious endeavor. This is not something to be taken lightly. Absolutely not. In fact, I'm going to run to the bathroom really fast. Sure. But uh, the next one here, we've got the Good Doctor sound package, which he, he had a big year. And, um... I said no pickles. Wait, who's he against? Sorry, what's that? Is he against it, Michaela? Michaela, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Makeup I couldn't tell. Package. Oh, right. that's makeup bag. Yeah, make wow. All right, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna run to the. Bag. All right, sounds good. Uh, I had a grip of donos coming in, so let me pull up my little thing here. I guess let me start from the back. Get the earlier ones. Twenty dollars uh, from Hiyo. Hiyo. Uh, would love to hear what y'all have to say about Sean Mendez and Miley Cyrus apparently joining a cult. Sent a message on Discord to Olivia about it on Sunday. Uh, Olivia stepped away. I think her sandwiches are here. Uh, that's the first I'm hearing about it. Um, yeah, pop stars and cults. Kind of like, kind of in right now, seems like. A lot of them. Do you know about this? Miley uh, joining a cult, theoretically? Or something? Yo, is that true? I don't know if it's true. I'm, uh, um, we had a dono that was uh, Sean Mendez and Miley Cyrus apparently joining a cult. Oh, that's true. That'd be crazy. Apparently, this person sent you a message on Discord. So if you want to look through your DMs, you might have some info there. Wait, yeah. We'll look into it. Uh, ben uh, Birilia, uh, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Uh, Mayo Clinic for Sam. Oh, because she cut herself. That's funny. Clever. I like it. Good job. Good one. Ben. Mayo for Sam. Uh, Aaron Montes. Uh, let's see. Uh, big fan of the show. Just a quick follow up on yesterday. Most migrant arrivals at the border are asylum seekers. Yes, that's true. Uh, that's a legal form of immigration. Agreed. Conservatives use illegal, not knowing that, to scare others. Uh, well, we can't just put that on conservatives anymore because I just was reading about how Joe Biden is uh, making a border crackdown part of his deal with uh, the GOP. So shout out. Shout out to the Democrats. Uh, Jess Lay, uh, member for two years, $20. I'm pregnant with my third baby. Congratulations. <laughs> Been pregnant with Ela each pregnancy. Oh, that's cool. And Dude. also have two boys. Can't wait to find out the gender this time. Boy mom is my destiny too, I think. Love y'all so much. Uh, well, if you're pulling for a girl, hope for that. But uh, if you got three boys, that's great too. Congrats, Jess. Uh, it's Ducky. Yo, that's a perfect name. I'm sorry, I don't know what that's referring to at all. The dog's name is D Ducky. Oh, for Ducky? Yeah. Oh, because their name is It's Ducky. Yeah. Ah, good catch. And they donate 50 bucks, so thank you, It's Ducky. That's a very generous of you. Uh, yeah, Ducky's really cute. Actually, you guys remember I wanted to name my son Ducky, but everyone hated that. <laughs> I think it's a great name for, for a I boy. I love that. Isn't that like in To Kill a Mockingbird, that's the kid's name? Or Dill. Maybe it's Dill. I don't remember. Ducky. Ducky's Ducky? just such a cute little name. The, the daughter? You know no, what? You know where I got the idea? Friend. Um, 
I don't remember. Ken- Kendrick Lamar's song, his, I guess his maiden last name is Duckworth, his dad's name. And he says in his song, they used to call him Ducky. And I was like, that's such an awesome name. I love that. <clears throat> Lucky Ducky. I never heard of it before. But okay, the dog gets it. The dog gets it. Whenever um, you give Ducky a treat, you can call him Lucky Ducky. Kobe Bryant's middle name was Bean because his dad's nickname was Joey Bean. His middle name was Bean? Yeah, his Kobe Bean Bryant. What? Is that real? Yeah. I never knew that. Weird. And he's named after the beef, too. Huh. You know Macaulay Culkin legally changed his name to Macaulay Macaulay Culkin Culkin? He like made it a Twitter thing. People got to choose. He didn't have to do that. <laughs> I know. He did it for us. <laughs> he's pretty great. I agree. He's been... Um, uh, Become a friend of the uh, the red letter media guys. I don't know if any of you guys ever watch those uh-huh. guys. I do. Yeah, I enjoy them. He pops Jack in Frost. as a as a third mic on their uh, on their show. I wonder if uh, we can reach often. out. Can, do you think we could get Macaulay Colkin Colkin? I think so. Oh, I would love like, to reach out. Uh, can we get the RLM guys with him too? Red letter media. Yeah. I mean that'd be Culkin, cool. But do they ever leave? Do they ever Wisconsin? leave uh, Minnesota or, or Wisconsin? Yeah. I don't know if he'll agree know. with your uh, your takes on MJ. He might huh? see that. He might see uh, the clip on oh, MJ. Oh, true. Have, uh, he is an MJ NBL. defender. Is he an MJ supporter? Yeah, he is. That'd homies. be interesting. I'm gonna put in a hearing him. Okay, you know well I maybe mean? uh, we'll wind that up next year sometime. I, I'm open. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm he, open, he baby. Was there, so he knows. Yeah. Damn, that's a good sandwich. It's so good. Um, mm. We have the same one, right? You got that beretta? No, I got. See, I didn't get the beretta because it has the. The nasty, slimy. I got the roasted. Beretta. I have the same one, but I got the uh, Caprese. Caprese. So fucking good. Um, do you want me to keep going on these so you can uh, chow real quick? Um. Are you ready to jump back into it? Um. I got a lot. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Let's I, catch yeah. up. And Dan, those were all positive. Can we get some like terminal illnesses or some more? Oh sure. Ones, yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. Um, let's see, this person, they donated $500 and said my entire family was killed in a building fire yesterday. Mm, sorry to um, hear it. But thanks for the dono. <laughs> That's not a real one. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see what else we got. My cat Stormy recently celebrated her 20th birthday. Can I get a hell yeah from the crew? Yeah, hell yeah you can. 20 Woo! is way up there for a cat. That's amazing. Hell yeah! <laughs> congrats Maggie and congrats to Stormy as well for making it 20 whole years um, Rachel uh, donated 10 bucks and said completely relate to Dan I have no time for excitement finals for my master program this week and then I fly out on Saturday oh you're flying to the show oh so you're doing finals and then straight to the H3 podcast live show well we'll see you there good luck good luck on the finals uh, $20 from Leora, uh, watch new undead mummy. Anybody know what that is referring to? It's the animator. Stop Sorry. motion, uh, yeah. It's the what? Daniel Sorry? Klansman stop motion account that we've shown on the show. Oh, okay. I'll check that out later. Um, remind me. Uh, Dr. Bluntman420, let's fucking go, dude. Thank Donated you, Philip, for the gifted. Love that. Uh, I did the same thing to my finger at Jimmy John's and got the tip in the lettuce. Ugh, dude, I asked you. I worked at a deli uh, in high school for a little while, and I was so fucking scared of the uh, meat slicer thing. Like, anytime I didn't, I was mostly just worked in the back. But anytime I had to use it, I was like so paranoid that I was gonna slice something off. Um, Olek K donated five dollars and said, "Glizzy gang." Lizzie Gang, your boy, uh, your boy won his first round. So, congrats to you. Thank you, Stephen A, for the gifted. Oh, and Lauren too. Wow, thank you guys. Bunch of gifted coming in. Uh, Twenty dollars from Newt Sling. Release my friend after Pi from Shadow Band Prison, please. They're huge fans and feel sad and confused by the band. Well, they probably deserved it. I don't know what to tell you. Can you um, look up? Can you look into it and see why they were? I can- no, I can't see why. I, there's no, like... Twitch has, like, a whole, like, log feature where you can see everything, like, a user sent or whatever. YouTube has nothing of the sort. Oh, uh, that so would be so useful. It would be super useful. YouTube... I mean, and Twitch has had that for years, frankly. too. It would be good content. 
I know the ban appeals. That would be good. Um, I can try and look into it. Frankly, uh, you can't even find people by their names to unban them. Like the fact that you said their name is after pie, that, that does nothing for me. Uh, you need the, um, channel URL, which is so stupid. That's the only way to, uh, manually unban somebody. So, um, I don't know if you want to, uh, send their, uh, their channel URL to one of the mods or something. I can, I can do it. I mean, yeah, I, I guess I'll unban them, whatever. It's probably not that serious. Listen, we, if you're being obnoxious in the chat, we ban you. That's that's it. So just don't be obnoxious and you're you're good. Um, <coughs> Josie oh, donated ten dollars. Down? Specifically, oh, if you're being annoying when there's a guest on, that's yeah, kind of like an easy way to get banned. Easy, it, easy, you know, easy ban right there. We just don't want our guests to be like constantly harassed. Mm -hmm. Let's just get juiced. It's not a good look. No. I'm just gonna finish this half. And I'm gonna put the rest in the fridge. I like one more bite. I have not chewed or talked into the mic huh? with food in my mouth. Let me know. Oh, I see Newt Sling. They, they replied. She said she barely chats. Well, damn, they must have been. They must have been not. really annoying then. Damn. Uh -huh. <laughs> must have left a doozy. <laughs> Left some a real turd of a comment there. No, uh, yeah, Newt, if you want to, um, yeah, again, uh, the channel URL. That's the only way for me to uh, find somebody. So, um, you know, if you want to send that to me on Discord or something, I'll, I'll take a look. Uh, let's see. Um, Josie uh, donated ten dollars. Said my boyfriend Eric got a promotion. He watches every episode and might poop himself if he gets a shout out. He works so hard. I'm so proud. H3 brought us together. We love you guys, family. That's very nice. Shout out, Eric. Congrats on the promotion. Love you guys. All right. You good? Can you do me a favor and just bridge that? That was so good. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, this place this place rocks. Can we say the name now that we've, we've already ordered? Give him a plug. It's fine, right? Yeah, why not? Uh... I don't think they need business because I'm assuming they're super popular, but it's called Just Bread. All about the bread. <laughs> Close. Right? All about the bread. It's, it's called. all about. You the know bread. what I'll say? The bread today was really a bread lot coming. better than I remember. The bread okay. was crazy today. Yeah, he was trying to shit talk the bread at All About the Bread. I wasn't shit talking. I was okay. just saying it's not that good to justify a name like that. But today the bread was actually really, really good. So, maybe it is all about the bread. It's a juicer. <clears throat> Alright, thank you everybody for standing back and standing by. Let's move on to the uh, fabled second right side bracket. We have so much work to do and so little time. My friends, let us continue. The Good Doctor versus Michaela Makeup Bag, Kim Kardashian. Pilot, pilot. So let's begin here. I am... A surgeon! I am a surgeon! I am I am a surgeon! I am a surgeon! Dr. <laughs> I am a surgeon! I don't watch this in a while. I adore that. And he He does not, for the record, have I assuming the doctor has autism. Yeah, yeah, he's autistic. Uh, the actor does not know. He does not have autism. Yeah. No, I remember when we were talking about this, there was a lot of discourse because this clip went viral. <laughs> and uh, there are a lot of people that were not thrilled with that show's uh, depiction of. It seems autism. kind of silly. The whole premise is silly. Like, he's on one hand this super high level surgeon, but also like emotionally completely uh, immature. No. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. No. I don't know anything about autism, though, to be fair. Murphy. So. <laughs> uh, here's another one from the, the good surgeon. No. The good doctor, whatever the fuck. No. No. What's the matter? No. 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 Sorry, what do you see? Like, I can't. Can't do this. What, what can you do? No. Don't. No. 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 Dr. Murphy. No. Dr. Murphy. Okay. 
you if you're a surgeon and you act like that, you take off. You should lose your job. You should oh, yeah. never work. Yeah, no. This like I'm the sorry, way you're not you're not up to the task, dude. The way they portray him is like I do not want him as a doctor ever. Like this, he's a mania. <laughs> you can't do that mid surgery. Mercy, no. He took Maybe off his like mask. No. I'm yeah. sure, like in the context of the episode, there was like a reason for that. But yeah, I mean, that feels like that's that's crossing. No. That no. that's yeah huge no. line right there, right? We're, we're not ready for the doctor role. Yeah. But anyway, no. here's a recent uh, entry making its rounds, which I really enjoyed. Uh, I said no pickles. True. Some people don't I like pickles. I said no pickles. Pardon me? He's on a date. Buddy. It's okay, they can just do that. I said no pickles. Oh, I am so sorry. I said no pickles. Oh. <laughs> the slow-mo. <laughs> no pickles, my friends. I said no pickles. So that's the good doctor. We've had a good time with no. him. But Okay, up, so how do we feel on whoopsie the... Whoopsie doopsie. But up next is really a strong contender. Michaela, makeup bag, Barbie, Kim oh, Kardashian. Oh, boy. She's strong. We had that was just a good, good at one. this makeup bag. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am so fucking. This is gonna be my. I believe is she she watches the show, right? I, I recall, I, yeah. I think she told us at the at the oh, yeah. We met her at the, the place this filter is about. supposed to, right? We met her at the bad place, the award show that shall not be named. <laughs> so, okay, well, that that makes me like her even more. She's got, what does she have, like a missile on her nose? It's contour. I mean, it's just a filter. It's not actually drawn on her. To oh. make you look like Babby. Is this going to make Babby. me look like Babby? Who? Absolutely not, but let's do it anyways. <laughs> Again, the disclaimer. So we disclaimer. got Babby, we got makeup bag. <laughs> and the most famous one. Kim Kardashian had this absolutely stunning, sexy look at the Met Gala, and you can read. Yeah. Kim Kardashian. So that is for our friend Michaela verse no pickles the good doctor. Uh, no. in interesting bracket. I said no pickles. I think probably I think Michaela's I think got it. an easy dub. Yeah, I think Michaela's got it, but we'll see. And and we love the good doctor. We we appreciate all the good work he does. But I think Michaela ran away with it this year. Bobby well, the poll is up, and you are right that she has a strong lead here. Although not, not. I mean, it's definitely uh, she's gonna win. Yeah, but is fifty-nine. This make me look like Babby? Forty-one. Forty-one percent of the good doctor. I mean, you know. Okay, we Babby. can wrap it up. <coughs> Congratulations, Michaela. Sorry about that, good doctor. <laughs> Keep writing crazy episodes, and maybe next year you'll you'll have a better. Can't can't do this. Oh man, the next one is Rich Lux. Who has had such a phenomenal year? Mm. His um his beef with Dan has been a focal point of of lots Dan. of tension between us. A three A three. Here is him and his video titled, by the way, Ethan Klein won't fire Dan <laughs> from H three H three Productions for poor work behavior and other stuff too. Drama. He's cut. He really came for you, Dan. I know, it's fucked and up. And I thought about it. I'm I still thought, big mad about it, too. And I'll tell you, I thought, I was like, maybe I do need to fire Dad. <laughs> that Rich other Lux makes a bad. good point here. <laughs> Dan is jealous of me. And let me tell you the drama with Dan. Great drop. <laughs> this was last year. So there's that one. And then there's also, incidentally, uh, the complete opposite. Thing I see. Although it's Adam McIntyre. Said uh, Talking about this drama. In jest. So let me play you the clip. I don't remember that. What happened? I think it was during the Ace Fest fallout, right? We were talking Ethan about- Ethan Klein won't stop? What the fuck are you- What did I do, Adam? <laughs> Ethan Klein won't stop what? Dad. What did I do? Oh, was this all over the- Oh my god. Hold on. Well, you were gonna type something to me, Dan. I saw- Me? Oh no. Oh, you were cool? Yeah. I thought you were- I'm eating okay. a sandwich. Oh, I thought you- okay. I thought you were telling me to ixnay on the- No, I don't give a book. Yeah, okay. <laughs> they were going- is this what they were going on and on about Dan- sub, this insane accusation against Dan doing- I don't uh, think it was that. So what did I do, Adam? I don't know. Ethan won't stop making great content? Sorry, bro. <laughs> 
Sorry that I keep your ass entertained. Three <laughs> days a week. <laughs> Deeply apologetic. I don't think I- I think you may have be reading into this a little too much. Um, maybe. It's possible. Right, we were talking about how he got kicked out of the event. And oh, I the- think oh yeah. So, wanted... so this was the, um... I guess what I said was offensive, was the- The bottom- <laughs> the bottom stuff. Oh, was Which, it that? That's... I guess he- he did a whole, uh, presentation on me being homophobic, I guess. Like, this year? Uh, seems like it. Or was the bottom thing this year? No, this was- No, that was a long this time This was ago. Fallout. Oh. We had, like, talked about it on the show, I'm pretty sure. So he brought, brought it back, back up. No, we brought it back up. Oh, we did? Yeah, and then he was watching it, and then Rich was watching him watch it. Well, anyway, I do apologize <laughs> anyway. for that one. I and feel like- I, watching, 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 watching. I feel I've come a long way. I've learned quite a bit from, uh, from all my faux pas I've made uh, over the years. I would agree. Apparently I wouldn't stop. We'll That's stop. the title. That's the title of his video. Anyway, go ahead, Rich. Talk about it, but when um, it was sent in chat, Dan said, he said it on the show when it happened. He was like, I just, I just banned him. I remember you banned him. But I can't I stand Dan. <laughs> so good. I can't stand Dan. <laughs> Dan block me <laughs> for my favorite show, H3H3. Oh, H3. I love you, Red. Dan is jealous of me. <laughs> and let me tell you the drama with Dan. Oh wait, this is the same spot. So the other one is just Dan is queen, but that didn't bring me to the Dan is queen. Oh. Uh, I think we have a bad I, URL. I don't know. Dan is the queen! I thought that was titled Dan that. Is the queen. So that's it. Dan is the queen. Yeah. We love Dan. So that's Rich Lux entry. Up against quite a, a wild card here. The chiropractor uh, screams of despair. <laughs> <laughs> this was a recent entry, oh, and that's real. That's real. That's real. This, this, this is, this this is, is genuine, like torment. I mean, <laughs> every time I play this, Dan loses. I. It's genuine. These are some of my favorite sound bites ever. No! Like, dude, I, <laughs> that man is truly, truly suffering. I just can't believe how much it sounds like a stock <laughs> sound effect from the 1940s. It yeah. sounds like a Tom and Jerry cartoon. Totally. It's like perfect. Yeah. I mean, my heart goes out to him. The chiropractor's like, you got scoliosis? All right, I'm going to fold you like a fucking <laughs> beach chair. Like, that is the sound. That is the sound that uh, Tom makes when Jerry chops his tail off or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. Genuinely. Wow. So we've got chiropractor death rattles <laughs> versus Rich Lux. Can't stand Dan. Dan is the queen. Interesting bracket here. Let's see. I mean, people love the rich ones. I predict that I that love will Rich. Win. He's a fan of the show, which I love. I can't stand He's a Dan. good sport. He's a great guy. Dan blocked me. <laughs> and I love the feud. Truly, I do. I and love the feud. Dan ruined my whole Disney trip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm throwing up the poll. But Round 10. There's lots of um, Cairo haters. They don't, they say it's too much. It's too much? There's lots of people I like, mean, I can't enough, watch it. Enough. You got to chill on the chiropractor stuff. So <laughs> I don't know if that's going to factor in. <laughs> but do we have no pain Lorraine drops? No, I never use those this year. Uh, so, but anyway, Rich Lux is winning, 64%. I can't stand Dan, and, well, you are alone in that. Dan. We all love Dan, so. We love Dan. Easy dub for Rich. Easy dub. <laughs> Congrats, Rich. I'm excited for you to see what you can pull Dan, off this Dan. year. Up next, we've got Kid Rock. Grandpa's feeling a little frisky today, which I love, love, love. And, of course, Joe Biden's infamous mayo for Sam. <laughs> Let's take a listen. And a gander. Here is uh, Kid Rock, who, I should remind you, has been spotted drinking Bud Light since this video came out. So, this was, of course, over Dylan Mulvaney. Oh, I just saw an update that the conservatives are back on board with um, with Bud Light. Oh, they're back? All is forgiven. What did Bud Light do? 
I don't know. I think they, they like... pay, I think they paid them. <laughs> I was gonna say, quite literally. Like, dude, did they like uh, deport a bunch of people? Or no, something? Dana White was doing like an interview with Tucker Carlson or something, and he's going on and on about how you're you're not a real American if you don't drink Bud Light and blah blah blah. Like, and I think Kid Rock even did some endorsement. No of way. I, I swear. It, let me look it up right after now. But they, all this fucking after hubbub, all this time, you literally bust out a fucking rifle. To shoot. Yeah, here it is. Nine hours ago, Kid Rock says he's done boycotting Bud Light. <laughs> oh, well, he was done. He's long back before. in. He was yeah. done that day, dude. We spotted you long time what ago. What a dumbass. So, he's changing his tune on Bud Light. He was one of the first people to declare the boycott. Rock told C Tucker Carlson on his ex show that Bud Light deserved a black guy and they got it. So now, I, do I want to hold their head underwater and drown them chill, because they bro. made a mistake? No, they got the message. Yeah, yeah don't worry. They're selling beer with or without you. Yeah. Um, wow, what a worthless virtue signal <laughs> that so you stupid. hate trans people. That so was really stupid. awesome, dude. Anyway, here it is. <laughs> Grandpa's feeling a little frisky today. Uh-oh. Let me, uh, say something to all you and be as clear. It's usually something you'd hear Chris Hansen, a transcript Chris Hansen would be reading. <laughs> and concise as possible. Go ahead, Chris. Take a seat right over there. Yeah, we showed them. Dumb asshole. We showed them for working with a small trans creator on a, like a tiny uh, campaign that nobody knew about. What, a single can. <laughs> a single can with her face on it was sent to her. That's oh, it. Oh, it was just one can? One can. Oh, so they weren't even yeah. selling them. No. No, she just posted with it. No, it was just a social media oh, little... Was, okay, so they paid her. It was a paid advert, I think. They probably didn't even pay her. They probably just sent it to her and she showed it because it was cool. No, they I, sent, think. I think they did it for a bunch of influencers. Oh my god. That's that is really, that's even crazy. No, it is the dumbest... Dumbest scandal you could possibly imagine. Are you sure they weren't paying her? I don't believe... I'm double checking right now, Dude, but I don't believe she Dude, that's nuts. Paid. That's nuts. Yeah, I think it's just one of those things that they, they send them to a bunch of popular influencers to... Yeah, I mean, it's viral marketing kind of shit, you know? I thought they were at least, like, partnered up, like, financially. But just I sending I don't think, a I could, I'm, I'm not a thousand percent sure on that, but I'm I'm pretty certain, no. Well, we'll, we'll fact check that. But in the meantime, thank you, Kid Rock, for that really meaningful, uh... Uh... Protest, and I'm, and I'm so sorry to hear that you're back on Bud Light. Uh, they got you, man. I wonder if Jeremy has made a uh, video about Dylan Mulvaney this week. Because <laughs> as like I haven't checked on his channel in a while, but he was still juicing Dumb. the Bud Light thing months later. Okay. <laughs> well, he posts like five videos a day. Uh oh. <laughs> right, he's he's desperate for content. Oh, Jeremy and Keemstar are having a tiff, which is kind of funny. Oh no. He's he's okay. He's railing against Dave Rubin and Shane Dawson uh, adopting. Uh, babies, or they had surrogate mothers, I think, or I don't know. Yeah, I think they, they had yeah, their surrogate gave birth yeah. to twins. And so, um, Quartering says, No, no, no. This disgusting trend, Dave Rubin and Shane Dawson are promoting buying babies. I'm buying babies. Keemstar came at him though. Woke star, you are 40 years old, and two gay guys had a kid before you, loser. <laughs> Kind of awesome. <laughs> Rare Keem dub. Um, here's a uh, video on the Quartering's channel from seven days ago. <clears throat> Dylan Mulvaney humiliated. Jesus Christ, man. Look at the tears. It's like, fucking hell. Man, that does numbers too. People love it. People click for that shit. <clears throat> That's sad. That is sad. Yeah. To be fair, I don't think Keemster has a biological a child either. I am seeing Although he's not... I don't think I thought he. I, I'm seeing that she was paid. His daughter's but the uh, can was never sold. Brant, Brantley isn't can, his daughter. Like, oh, Brantley's his daughter. No, no, uh, he's not dating his daughter. I know that that's confusing, but so so I'm saying he doesn't have a biological child. Um, I think he may also have that. Uh, she may be one of Brantley's friends or something. I'm not entirely certain on how Maybe that dynamic how works, but that could be how they met. Yeah. Sorry, Ab, go ahead. Sorry, I was just saying that Dylan was paid, but the, like Dan said, it was just one can. It was not sold. Okay. Okay, so it's a sponsored post. Got it. All right, uh, where were we? We were talking about uh, uh, 
Kid Rock versus Mayo for Sam. Let's right. hear it, Joe. People of Mayo, this is a moment to recommit our hearts, our minds, our ardent souls to the march of progress, to lay the foundations brick by brick by brick <laughs> for a better future for our kids and our grandkids. Man, a better future, man. One of greater liberty, opportunity, and dignity, just like our ancestors did for us. Yes. I've never been more optimistic, and I've been doing this a long time. I've never been more optimistic about what we can achieve if we stick together and stick to our values. Do you think that's true? This is a that time he's of never been more optimistic. I don't know if it's just like always a thing where you feel at the time like it's this is worse than it's ever been type of thing. Like I don't know if people always feel that. I have a hard time believing that he actually <laughs> believes that. This, yeah. He's never been more optimistic right. in the future. I mean, maybe he feels that way. <laughs> I mean, he's probably stoked he got to be president. Right. Yeah, exactly. That's right. right. That's good for him. He's stoked on that possibilities <laughs> and united by history where's mail for Sam? heritage and hope it's coming up and made most of all by courage nothing is beyond our reach every time i walked out of my grandfather finnegan's home in scranton pennsylvania he yelled joey keep the faith <laughs> then i'd hear someone from the house yell no joey spread it right May God protect all those who serve the cause of peace. Dude, this is Joe Biden propaganda. Why is this URL so far back? <laughs> Which one of you is the staffer? The, uh, <laughs> and oh, one staffer. more thing. Mail for Sam! Well, Mail that, for Sam! That makes no sense. What did he mean by that? <laughs> Mayo for Sam. <clears throat> it's, um, Mayo is a town. And, oh. uh, it's, it's a soccer reference. I'm sorry, football. Mayo yeah. for Sam! Watch so he did say Mayo for Sam. Yeah, yeah. It's a reference to the Sam McGuire Cup that Mayo last won in 1951 when a local priest was said <laughs> to have put a curse on the team for a lack of respect when their bus passed a funeral on their way home to the final in Dublin. Whoa. Okay. That's that was a I very mean, yeah, Irish story. The audience loved it, you could tell. But okay, moving our well, let's let's throw it to the people. We've got Kid Rock, Grandpa's feeling Grandpa frisky, feeling frisky versus today. Joe Biden, our very own president, uh, uh, Mayo for Sam. Mayo for Sam. All right, going up right now. <coughs> Grandpa's feeling a little frisky today. You know, I I think the Mayo for Sam one is just Mayo a little more Sam. personal. Mm -hmm. But the the. The Kid Rock one is also very versatile and very funny. You, it's so it's you can use it in really fucked up ways. A <laughs> right. Today. But the people are definitely speaking up for Mayo for Sam. They they voice their opinion loud and clear with four thousand mm -hmm. votes. That's seventy six percent Joe Biden Mayo for Sam. So that's easy. So we can lock that up right now. Sorry about that, Kid Rock. Sorry, buddy. Up next, we've got Pearl Davis. Oh boy. Remember her? Unfortunately. Uh, we've got a few of hers, just her going, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Or, and also, can we talk about the Jews song? Oh, Jesus, right. Versus XQC, a carita, and. Oh, shit. And his rumbling, rambling, which is right. similar to Phidias. But let's take a listen here. Go ahead, Pearl. Um, yeah, I just, I think it's a bit disingenuous. Why? Okay. Bro, this mm -hmm. has 2.6 million views? Holy mm -hmm. shit. That's awesome. Wait, really? Yeah. I, didn't I had know that no one idea. got that high up. Dude, that's crazy. Well, that's great. That was a landmark interview. I, I gotta tell you, um, <laughs> no spoilers, but, you know, I guess this isn't really a spoiler. Uh, Cam is working on his, uh, end of the year wrap-up video, um, that we always do at the end of the year. And some of these clips went in there, and I hadn't gone back and watched any of this since it happened. And this might be the most cringe thing that we've ever done on the show. It's like borderline unwatchable to me, like this interview. <laughs> it's so fucking uncomfortable. It was like painful. That's awesome. Painful watching this. I love that. <laughs> it's well, so brutal. The, the <laughs> debates were, were really a highlight of the year for me. I'd yeah. love to keep doing more next year. Like, really, I want to get... Sure. 
get them, keep them coming, you know. Yeah. We have someone we're trying to get in touch with right now. Great. And let's keep a list going. I, I, you know, if you guys have any ideas for people to debate too, send them in Discord because I want I do want to start reaching out and get more people on the show. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, that's Pearl. Uh, wait, did I even say oh, somebody it? said um, the Pearl interview is how they got into the pod. That was the first thing they nice. saw. That's incredible. Nice. Yeah, all the debates has done so well on social media. Some of the best performing content we've huh. posted. So. That's, that's good stuff. That was also during the time when we were actually gaining subs for a minute. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, right. That's yeah, true. That, that's that's actually that's very meaningful. If we're yeah. getting subs, then I think we gotta we gotta hit the iron mm-hmm. while that's, it's hot. Even though they've lost relevancy, that's why I'll always advocate for fresh and fit. I think that'd be a good discussion. I was watching one of their shows the other day, and it's <laughs> insane. They start by like a doctor's office. He has a a, a clipboard. And he asked every girl in the room, Myron asked, how old are you? Are you on birth control? Are your parents divorced? Oh, my God. It's like the stupidest fucking misogynistic (laughs) questions ever. I I couldn't believe what I was watching. I think that I agree. I think it could be good. I'll have to do so much preparation for that because, like, their lore is deep. And Myron is not, he's not like a total... uh, he can argue. He, yeah, he he can argue, yeah. but, but that's fine. I mean, Ollie was a, was a pretty... Yeah, out of all the ones this year, Ollie was definitely the person yeah. that like could actually hold a conversation without just collapsing like the rest, and Myron would probably be similar to that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but I I, th- I would be open to reaching out, actually. Maybe we should do that. Mm. I would even debate them two versus one. I'd love mm-hmm. to talk to Coco. <laughs> I mostly want to sure. talk to Coconuts. Mm-hmm. Coco. Frankly. Coco. <laughs> It's a, I call him Coco. It's my pet name. It's just shortened to Coco yeah. now. But anyway, Pearl, we love you. Yeah, reach out. Um, Let's write that. Thank you, AB. Yeah, I, just, uh-huh. I think it's a bit disingenuous. Why? Okay. Mm-hmm. Why? Why is it disingenuous? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm analyzing your viability by your own metrics. Wait, what's you my hair? <laughs> Why is it brushed forward? A, to other women and men. Why is that disingenuous? It's so sweaty. I don't. You're in business mode. That right okay. there. <laughs> so close to okay, Ethan. So close. Okay. Oh, that's true. We did miss out on that from her. So that was a good Pearl moment we had, and shout out to her. Uh, talk about the Jews song was something that came up after my conversation with her. I had not enjoyed this before, but she incur- she um she is very adamant. She wants us all to know this is not anti-Semitic. She says it's just a joke. Why, why can't we talk about them Without getting kicked off of YouTube Now I'm not saying Hitler was a good guy Jeez, that is a crazy lyric But I kinda wanna know Why Why? Now there's all these conspiracy theories. This is maybe and the, more they talk, the craziest thing anyone's ever uploaded to you. I mean, this is nuts. No, think maybe they're right. God, remember when she got owned but by Pierce Morgan of all people on this? Wow, yeah. Which like just says it all when Pierce Morgan is dunking on your ass. I, you know, I gotta, I feel like I've been watching a lot of Pierce Morgan. His, his channel's been quite good lately. I'm, I'm not even, listen, he's, he interviews a really good diversity of people. He's had tons of pro Palestinian people on, and he gives them like tons <coughs> yeah, of Yeah, to his credit, he has been fairly good on that. And, um, Dude, he gives them tons of space, and he's like really not rude to them either. He's juicing that conflict like no other. He's benefiting the most out of that <laughs> every single day. It's true. Pierce like, Morgan always comes yeah. out on top. You're not wrong, but, the content is is good. Oh yeah, no. I, there's there's a one interview with the uh, one Shaq and the one um, rabbi, which is just insane. Oh yeah, no I one s- could get a word in. And Dude, the that rabbi is vi- that guy is nuts. Yeah, I didn't see this one. Both of them seem <laughs> Dude, a little nuts. Dude, it's intense. Huh. <laughs> the one for Shank with the rabbi, you said. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dude, that one is like intensely yeah. insane. Shank has like a meltdown, but this rabbi is like so mean. But yeah. anyway, I I. Anyway, whatever. So moving oh, no. on. I'm sorry. No, I'm talking about the one with uh, the, ra- the rabbi and the Muhammad. Uh, I forget his name, but he, he's he's uh, not the one. Jank. I I watched some of that one too. But was it the same rabbi? 
are because that guy's wild. Anyway, whatever. Yeah. Let's move on. So we got mm, and talk about the Jews. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Pearl. And we have XQC making an entry here. Let's give this one a try. A character. Let's give this one <laughs> a try. Classic. And he's we've decided he's he, he's serious about that. Yes. He thought he pulled a carrot out. <laughs> yes. yes. Interesting. I, I mean, that's kind of a vibe for a wand shit. Why not? <coughs> so go ahead and play. There's another XQC entry, Zach. Is that anyone with streamers directing their chat to build and constructive? But just wipe the enemy community's pixel eyes with turning across. That's just mean. I just says, I should have ever seen. Is that gentleman that I guess? Ah, shit. Very good. <laughs> so we've got uh, XQC versus Pearl. Two and two people have debated actually uh, this year. Right. So right. I forgot the XQC the, one. I f I love the XQC. The Pearl one is very um, <clears throat> very soft, and you can kind of throw it in spots. Yeah, I love when you just have her go the. Hmm. Mm -hmm. hmm. <sighs> okay. <laughs> so let's throw it up. We got Pearl and we all right. Got round XQC. twelve. Pearl versus XQC. The what battle the of the great minds of. Of the, the carrot versus the uh, the stick in the mud. XQC is destroying her initially. Now, I think people just really hate Pearl. Yeah, they, they can't even like, vote for her in this capacity. Right. And I don't blame you. They, they're like, I don't want to see or hear from her anymore. Right. <laughs> so I'm okay. voting for XQC. Yeah, we're locking that up. Is that anything wrong with streamers directing their chat to building constructive? But just to wipe the enemy community's pixel eyes with turning across, that's just mean. That is just mean. Whatever you said. Sorry about that or happy for you, whatever. That's just mean. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, congrats, XQC. Pearl? Easy dub. Another Easy L clap. for Pearl this year. It is. You can't stop <laughs> taking the L's. <clears throat> Dolly Lama. Was that this year, huh? Uh, Suck my tongue? Huh? That was a crazy one. That one was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and then Keemstar, the rim shot sound effect, which we've appropriated. Every fucking show since uh, we discovered it. It's quite good. Yeah. <laughs> I love that we just fucking ripped it. Because I was laughing about how dumb it is. And then we just fucking ripped that shit, dude. And now it's great. Uh, the boy's face is blurred. Okay, so I'm not even going to show it, but you can hear. <laughs> oh, wait. You don't have us reacting to it? No, it's just... Uh... The footage of it. <laughs> He's yeah, just staring at him quiet, very awkwardly. And suck my tongue. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they do it. Oh my God, you're such. A... Wow, wow, wow. That one's wild, wild, wild. That make that is really. Uh -uh. And suck my tongue. You know what, China? You got the green light. Take it. <laughs> no, stop. That's take it off. Just kidding. I stand with Tibet forever. Hands in the fists in the air, baby. Freedom for everyone. Uh, so we got uh, b -b 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 Dalai Lama versus Keemstar. Thank you, Zach. You played it. One more time. And we also have Brantley making an entry here. Kids aren't skating and causing a lawsuit. You are a loser. Well, that's your job. You're a fun sucker. That is if the job. If you're on a skateboard and mm -hmm. your car is on the other... I remember. This, Brant, Brantley had a uh, moment of clarity when talking about AB. <laughs> but um, anyway, we got Dalai Lama versus Keemstar, two great spiritual leaders. Wait, did you play that the actual Keemstar rim show? Yeah. Did I miss that? Yeah. No, I played it on the soundboard. Oh, we didn't play the clip of it? Oh, here, I'll play the clip. Clip's fucking hilarious. The clip's but so if it's fun. far away, why not? It'll be fun. And if I see a car, I'm not a dumbass. I'm going to see the cars there and I'm going to stop. Brantley? Or get out of the way. You Spit. have a mental disability known as Gen Z. And let me, you are not allowed to push the button, Brantley. Only I can push the button. Here, dude. Also, what the fuck was that? <laughs> that is the greatest part about Sometimes this whole thing. Is that soundbite? That soundbite. <laughs> oh, is that like his rim shot? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think he, he, 
Sometimes, Dave used to just play that whenever he thinks he really he really got one over. Sometimes you got to support yourself, you know. Yeah. I've, I'm I love that. So, I love that so much. It's because he's doing his own rim shot. <laughs> it's 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 quite good because we're now using it unironically to the point where. I don't even think anyone even thinks about the origin of it. We've just completely culturally appropriated Keemstar. And, yeah. uh, uh, we found out a fan <laughs> sent us uh, a message that it's like a stock stock sound effect in whatever mixer he's using. Awesome. So right. He can't, he can't yeah. say shit. <laughs> so I'm glad to have taken that. Yep. It's ours now. So anyway, um, we've got Kimi Dreamy. Rimshot. Kimi so dreamy. Versus Michael. Dalai Lama, which shit, I forget what <laughs> what round was this? I'll say this. The Dalai Lama one is really bad vibes, so it's vile. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure that a lot of people are gonna be running to vote for that one. Um was this I think this is round thirteen. Let me just verify real quick. Nine, we have the tongue sucker versus the phone oh. sucker. Yeah, it's thirteen. Round thirteen. Okay. Uh pulls up. Alright, everybody, we've got the tongue suck. It suck. First, the fun no, suck. Fun suck, yeah. But you said, A.B. I heard you. Hey! Hey! hey. We're making progress. Nice I kind of heard you. I had to infer a lot. I know. I think you had a... You, once you said it, you're like, oh, that's what it was. <laughs> um, this is... This is truly a fucking devastating <laughs> blow up for the Dalai Lama. 92% wow. Keemstar. And only 9% now. It's 90... Back to 8% Oof. Dalai Lama. Yeah, um, I mean... Yeah, it's just bad vibes. Who wants who wants to click the button to vote? Even for that? listening to it is pretty <laughs> icky. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Dalai Lama. Uh, but uh no, All right. We 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 wish that uh let's just keep them away from kids if we can, please. Thank you. Congrats, Kimi Dreamy though. Okay. Up next, we're coming to the bottom of our right hand uh bracket here. There's three left. Up next is Jimmy Lee, everybody's absolute favorite on the show. Those damn crickets. Uncontroversial, beloved by all. Uh, Jimmy the Jersey Outlaw, here he is. With the drop of the year. <laughs> How about him? <laughs> <laughs> that was Push actually fun. That's tragic. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so so we're done. We're going to move past the straw roast. Ro roast. Very good. So let's right. do this set. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, I, got got a, I, I forgot to tell you something. What's that? You like my hat from Pink's Hot Dogs? I don't know if I mentioned it. You didn't. No, no, you didn't. <laughs> yeah, so I I, uh, I eat at Pink's when I got to L.A. They got really great hot dogs and um, all different flavors. And it's a great place. I mean, that's how Mr. <laughs> Pink is. It's so fucking good for no damn reason. <laughs> All, All different, different flavors. flavors. I will flavors. say that is one of my, uh, my hot keys. That is a, a quick key sound. But. Do you think Pink's paid him for this? Nah, he just loves Mr. Pink. He's just paying it forward. Yeah. I mean, because he's like, oh, I forgot, and then he just goes into a full-on unironic pitch for Should Pink's. I, I mean, they gave him a, a, a this fucking isn't a plot on the wall there. True. <laughs> True. <laughs> no, he, he, we missed it. Mr. Pink asked him to read it. Yeah, it was uh, Mr. Pink asked me to read it. Uh, all right, so all different flavors. Also, one more Jimmy one while we're on the topic. It's the Stop With Tomatoes. Well, damn. <laughs> My God, stop with the tomatoes. You're killing me. I just said stop. <laughs> <laughs> Will you stop? Jimmy, we love you. Uh, and then that's verse Senator John Kennedy reading erotica. Fantastic. <laughs> this is good stuff here, brothers and sisters and everybody. Let's take two books that have been much discussed. <laughs> um, the first one is called all boys aren't blue. And I will quote from it. I put some lube on and got him on his knees. And I began to slide into him from behind. I pulled out of him and kissed him while he masturbated. <laughs> he asked me to turn over while he slipped a condom on himself. This was my ass. <laughs> and I was struggling to imagine someone inside me. He got on top and slowly inserted himself into me. It was the worst pain I think I have ever felt in my life. 
eventually I felt a mix of pleasure with the pain. This is really something. <laughs> this is it? something else. It is, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Mr. Kennedy. We're captive. Captivated. Captive Close audience. Quote. All boys aren't <laughs> blue. The second is a... a, a n- <laughs> what did you do? You just read through some, like... He's like, I'm looking for the hottest, steamy <laughs> he was, to read to my friends in Congress. He was really adding some uh, some inflection and steam, some embellishment steam yeah. on his reading there. In character. Yeah. Mm. Tell me more, Mr. Kennedy. Mm. Another much discussed book. Book? Um, I'm sure you're familiar with it. It's called Gender Queer. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh-oh. Red Let me flag. read an excerpt from that. Quote. I got a new strap-on harness today. (laughs) I can't wait to put it on you. Hell yeah. It will fit my favorite dildo perfectly. You're going to look so hot. (laughs) I can't wait to have your cock in my mouth. I'm going to give you the blowjob of your life. Then I want you inside of me. End quote. Jesus, man. That... Wow, wow. I mean, ah, wow. Those, uh, other than tips, or those might be my favorite of the year. Those are incredible. I, my favorite was, like, I can't wait to put my, your cock in my mouth. Yeah, it's so graphic. And, like, dude, <laughs> chill out, bro. You're in Congress. I have can't some, res- have wait some to have your cock decor. In my mouth. What happened to the decor, brother? And then he, he goes, uh, This uh, was my ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> so here it is. We've got Senator John Kennedy reading erotica versus Jimmy Lee, different flavors and tomatoes. All and different tomatoes. flavors. Stop with the tomatoes. Oh my goodness. It looks so hot. I have to say, um, I'm quite surprised by the outcome. 67% Jimmy. Pleasure with the pain. I mean, all different flavors is a good one. All and you, you all know I'm not the biggest Jimmy fan, but that's that's a banger sound bite. The thing is, too, that there's been a lot of pushback on Jimmy since the docu, especially since the documentary fiasco. Yeah. And I thought people might, you know, ra- r- rally against him. But I see that uh, Mate, is you're killing me. the flavor. You got to separate the art from the artist, you know? Killing me. That's Separate what I art think. From the sure. But anyway, so Jimmy, congratulations. This is big. He, I think he's going to be really excited about this. I, I'll give it five minutes till he texts me. Do we have him calling? <laughs> no, no. Kidding. I'm kidding. Kidding. Uh, so there it is. Oh, oh. Dream nightmare. Nightmare. Or Dan, put your balls in my mouth. Oh, that's such a good one. Strong, strong end. I use that so much. Here's Dream. What do you guys think of that one? I love it, so. You guys want to learn it together? Yeah. Uh, because, oh, I can't breathe when you're not there. Wait, 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 your turn, wait, wait, wait. Three, two, one. I can't. How are they supposed to learn a song that nobody's <laughs> ever heard before? He, th- because this was, uh, he already performed the song. He performed the song and then afterwards but it, he did no, this little. Okay, like, he did it once, but still, like, it's a new song. No, how are they going to remember the words? They're not going to sing along. <laughs> it's crazy, right? It's not that complicated. See, nobody, nobody, dude, okay, let's listen. Nobody's singing along. Sleep, it's a nightmare. There's tons of parts. Look. Crowd sings about as good as Enrique. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. Pray when you're not there. He does the whole chorus. There you go. They're not going to remember. One more time. Can we do that? Can we one more time? So go ahead and play our our winner now to commemorate the meme because it was really a good meme. I feel that its life cycle died. Um, he died. It died young because of the there was a new dream. Uh, controversy that I just didn't want to have anything to do with, but I think it's time to bring it back because the idea that we took 
his song that's <laughs> unpublished and now we made a song with it that's our song is phenomenal. Go ahead, Zach. I mean, your song specifically. Jersey Lawman. And this was the birth of the Jersey Lawman, really. Well, not the birth, but... But, I mean, this is his intro to the show. This is uh, the first time... Right, we, right. You know. He had maybe come up once or twice before, but this was the first time he participated in a contest. <clears throat> is this the video that has, like, 120,000 views? It's like 200 and something now. Yo, that's, that's crazy. It's crazy. Dude, and it's so much better than his. It gets recommended to me on my main YouTube account all the time. And I click on it over and That's over it, and over again. Because people, they love it. Yeah. I think Dream, ugh, I tried to hook him up with the lawman, but he's just so short-sighted, man. He doesn't see the potential. This is a hit. Anyway. Can't you're not there. You're not there. I listen to this shit in my car. It's good, man. <laughs> it's so good. I, I, I love the law, man. What can I say? <coughs> we all do. So anyway, that's Dream. Uh, up against Dan, put your balls in my mouth. But you got a lot of mileage this year, certainly. Here it is. I Mr. You stepped gotcha. up to Mr. Gotcha. I'm Mr. Gotcha. Gotcha. Gotchas fall out of my mouth. You remember that commercial? I Mr. Oh, I fucked you. Bucket. I Mr. Bucket. Mr. Bucket. Fall, put your, fall put out your of balls my in mouth. my head. <laughs> <laughs> right? Isn't that the yeah. put your balls in my mouth? Guy? I Mr. Bucket. Mr. Balls fall out of my mouth. Balls Mr. fall out of my mouth. Buckets of fun. Now, does he say balls in my mouth? Put your balls in my mouth? He does. I think he says balls. Oh, Did we ever gonna... find the source for that? The Mr. Bucket commercial? Yeah. I mean, it's probably all over you. I really want to know what's the jingle. I'm Mr. Bucket. Put your balls in my mouth. 1992. Your balls in my mouth. <laughs> 1992, Mr. Bucket. Put your balls in my mouth? He might say that, Dan. Let's see. 1992. Man, I was seven years old. That's crazy. I remember this shit. Oh, wait. Hold on. I'm on the wrong output here. Is this gonna be in second? Is this put your balls in my top? I'm Mr. Bucket. Out of my mouth, they will pop. We're about to hear it, AB. Well, I don't want you to get claimed. <laughs> Mr. Bucket, you're gonna Yo, claim who's it. coming for this 1990? Claim commercial? this commercial freak. from 1992? I will shit and piss. And <laughs> that would be crazy. Freak out. I appreciate that, though. Yeah. Yeah. Out of my mouth, they will pop. I'm Mr. Bucket. Walking around, I'm Mr. Bucket. Super creepy. Mr. Bucket, the first to get their balls in, and Mr. Bucket wins. But look out, because the balls will pop out of his mouth. Oh, Mr. Bucket. I, th I think it was the the balls. Wait, that was it. You just started mouth. talking right as he said it. The balls come out of my mouth. The balls come out of my mouth. I heard, put your balls in my mouth. <laughs> I'm Mr. Bucket. Your balls pop out of my mouth, which put is your funny balls too. Because mm -hmm. I imagine a ball, a testicle coming out of the mouth would make a like a. Put your balls in my mouth. Dan, that's not what he said. So I'm going to get over that. <laughs> anyway, we got Dan, put your balls in my mouth, uh, courtesy of Mr. Bucket. And, Thank you, Mr. Bucket. And against uh, Dream. Mmm. Fuck. Let's go! The Dream one is just, I love the whole story. I love the whole package of Dream. You know. Then he called in. Yeah, sleep, it's a nightmare. <laughs> I really wish you would co-make the song, man. That was the ultimate, but I don't think we could do it now anyway. Failed. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> but it looks like Dan and apologies to Mr. Bucket. The Oliver Tree, I mean. So yeah, Nightmare by Dream is taking the dub here 62%. Well done. So let's move on to the final one here. Mark Elliott, uh, the guy who cured Tourette's. Have a good night. And a Nook Chestnuts. Oh, brother, brother, brother. Thank hey, you for having me on today. Did you see this photo of you guys, of the three amigos? This was... <laughs> <laughs> That dude, Cam, that shit this was is so, so insane. I was like, oh, fuck. I was trying to keep a straight face. I did, surprisingly. Mark, I think he was our first victim, right? Uh, I think Sebastian was first, right? Yeah. Oh, Sebastian was yeah. first. I don't know. I don't remember. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> it was Mark. I think the Nexium was first, yeah. Really? 
Poor guy, dude. I mean, poor I'm guy. Gonna, well, remember, he, freak he reached out to us. <laughs> that, Let me that, remind you. He re- right. We did not initiate any that, of that. He right. wrote us an email asking to come on the show to talk about Nexium. So, and I was like, we like I sure. love that idea. You know, <laughs> um, so this whole debate arc was by pure chance. It was by thanks to Mark reaching out via email um, and asking to come on. Uh-huh. Anyway, here it is. <laughs> Did you? I, I'm with you, by the way. A cab, brother. <laughs> <laughs> you don't you don't know how to turn off zoom you're trying but you can't get away <laughs> oh, how do we how do you get out of this <laughs> well there's no job well again nice to meet you ethan and uh yeah, I, yeah thanks for having me on, on i'm sorry i'm sorry to put you all through that it ultimately you are the victim and i hope rainier's dies in prison <laughs> i really do <laughs> I really do, but one day you're going to be free of this, and I'll be there to help you. I'm so sorry. You, this is Keith's fault that you went through this. It really is, and I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm thanks, sorry. thanks for having me on today. Yeah, thank you for joining <laughs> us. All right, take care. Have, have a good night. Uh, have a good night. Have thank a good night. you. Uh, wow. I play that at the end of every Zoom call we have. Uh, this interview was have, have something, man. Brutal. Wow. Oh, wait, somebody's commenting on this already? Oh, this is from nine months ago. Oh, shit. This is my new favorite now. Keemstar Rimshot has been demoted to number two. This person is speaking. This is a soothsayer nine months ago. This person is speaking to the future. <laughs> Can I give a, a quick shout out to this channel, H3 Podcast Soundbites? Go ahead. They uh, they post all the origins of the soundbites. It's fucking amazing. Oh, that's awesome. Big shout out to them. Thank you for doing that. That's a really cool project. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, So that's Mark uh, Elliott. Have a, have a good night. Versus uh, a nook chestnuts. Now we've l- removed the music so that we can uh, enjoy his voice unfettered. Yes. Go ahead, Anuki. I did it all for the Anuki. <laughs> the you have to use your imagination that there's music playing now. Cheers, Lars, Rothing, Lars, 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 I'm t- bringing the chestnuts. Keep the cutie, bring the chestnuts. Or no. Yeah. The cutie yeah, keep stays. keep the cutie drama here. Chestnuts. Chestnuts coming with us. us. It was January this year. Oh, Started wow. off strong. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm strong. Good. <laughs> Fucking legend. I mean, I could listen to this all day, but we do have a show to do. I know, and we love you for that. You Actually, let's keep it going while the poll goes. Oh, you already did it. Anuk is taking it down, 81%. Sorry, Mark. Uh, have a good night. I was hoping for a dub for you after all the... He needs a god, he needs a dub. He's still out there fighting for Keith, free Keith. Is he really? Yeah, man. Wow. He's a loyal soldier. I guess part of me hoped that that would be the wake-up call for him. He's in, like, deep, deep, deep. deep. I guess so. Yeah. Sad. Well, 76% says Anuk, only 24% for Mark. I am so sorry, Mark. I really thought this might be a good year for you, but next year we're, we're looking up and our futures are bright. And I'm, and I'm just, I'm so glad that the Tourette's is gone and that you're doing well. <laughs> All right, that, that concludes the second uh, half. half. Of the, yeah, that's... Uh... <laughs> so we are about to move on and see some really... Powerful matchups. Um, let's take a look here. So, just to run down the second uh, half of the bracket that we just got through, we had Michaela Makeup Bag win the first round. The second was taken by Rich Lux, uh, talking about me. Uh, Dad. <laughs> next up was uh, Mayo from Sam. Mayo for Sam from Joe Biden. Mayo for Sam. Followed by XQC with his Caretta. Uh, Caretta. 
Next, uh, we have the Keemstar rim shot uh, edging out the Dalai Lama, followed by all different flavors from Jimmy Lee. All different flavors. <laughs> Uh, Dreams Nightmare uh, uh, acapella version uh, took that round, and finally a Nooks Chestnuts, of course. Took so here's the final how we're gonna spot. do the next bracket. We're just gonna have Zach play them. So we're not gonna do. We're not gonna look back. Yeah. Now we can start just yeah. blasting through them. Yeah. So um, so let's go ahead and start at the top here. Um, can I step away for a minute? I gotta pee. Go ahead. All right. Of course. Be right back. I just I can't run just the, pee in the basement, stuff when I'm gone. Bro. I can pee in the basement. Um so we're matching up here. We'll get it all lined up. Uh it's I can't really see it's too zoomed out, but looks like we've got Cheers my dude versus eggshells. Cheers my dude. So play the whole thing, the tipster one. Cheers my dude. Love ya. No homo. Whenever we talk about burning the witch you know the era where we used to burn the witch? That era never really stopped. The type of witch we was burning <laughs> changed. And in order to comprehend, you're gonna have to break some, <laughs> comprehend, in order to comprehend and to eat the, uh, the, the, the omelet of knowledge, you're gonna need to break those eggshells. He's so, <laughs> he really is so eloquent. And Preach, I like that his name is Preach because he really is preaching to me, mm -hmm. to my you soul. You made me defend this dude. Can you set up the poll, AB, if you're sitting I'm, there? Yeah, I'm over here. Oh, I got sweet. it. Thank Cheers, you. My dude. So we Love got, we no got big tip. It's up to you. I have it. Too. Whenever we talk about burning the witch. <coughs> Cheers, my dude. Love Wait, ya. someone said, where's Grimace Shake? That's true. So there's a lot of philosophical thinking regarding this. Grimace Shake wasn't really used as like a sound bite. Anuk and what was the other song one? The oh, Dream. Dream. Both. Zach uses those kind of more in a soundbite. Do you agree with that assessment, Zach? I do. Grimace is more of an intro and outro song. Okay. More of a song. Yeah. The other ones have more of a soundbite application. Okay. Correct. That's fair. I'm glad that it was at least considered and thought about. Yeah. Yes. Would never forget. So right now we've got... Okay, guys, this is close, and I encourage everybody to get their vote on because the, the winner of this witch. bracket may well be the winner of the whole tournament. Cheers, Cheers my, my dude, dude is winning with 55%. Love ya. The eggshells of knowledge burning the witch, 45%. Abbott and Preach Those fans, get your votes in because your vote matters. Cheers, my dude. Oh, Cheers, Love my ya. dude just took another point Those lead, though. Shells. I feel like I say cheers, my dude, every day of my life. Since, I'll, since seeing that clip. I'll be out in public and, uh, you know, podcast fans will come up to me. Just cheers, my dude. Don't even say hi. Just cheers, my dude. It is such a, it really has power. Mm -hmm. I it. I think it it's up there with a Baba Booey. <laughs> so, well, okay. <laughs> so here's the thing. It's clearly the winner. It keeps edging up, inching away. Cheers, my dude, at 57%. We can crown him the winner. Oh, but yeah. I have to say... The eggshells one was is such a phenomenal. If it was up against anyone else, I feel that they would have gone so far in this tournament. I just love that eggshell one. So can you pay it for me one more time? And, in order to comprehend, yeah, you're gonna have to, to honor it. it. Comprehend. In order to comprehend and to eat the uh, the, the the omelet of knowledge, you're gonna need to break those eggshells. Yeah, man. I like what, but I can't deny it. Cheers, my dude. I can't deny it. Cheers, my dude. But I was rooting for fit. I don't know. Yeah, it was a tough one, but okay. We have the winner. Cheers, my dude advances. And this was kind of what we all suspected might happen. That this might be Cheers, my dude's year. Do you know how to move it up in the bracket? <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Dan is coming back. So, Dan, welcome back. Cheers, my dude won the first bracket. Oh, already? Yeah. Okay. 57%. Sorry, Abba. Or preach. So up next, we've got Glizzy Overdrive, friend of the show we love, and Trump Audio Packet. Go ahead, Zach. Entering Glizzy Overdrive. <laughs> mm. Mm. Really good. And hit him with just the one... <laughs> Just the, oh, whoa, oh. All right, so that's the Glizzy bot, friend of the show. We love him. 
Go ahead with the Trump audio pack. I did everything right and they indicted me. <laughs> so good. Don't call him a fat pig. Trump you really. Can't. Wow. It's 104 or 5 degrees in this room. Shut up, silly woman. <laughs> I'm trying to get their attention. Turn up the mic. Uh, uh, this one is sorry. amazing. It's like a it sound. It's like he's having a fever dream, and he's talking in his throat <laughs> or something. Just something really twisted. Anyway, uh, Trump is going to take it. Glizzybot, we love you, but I'll tell you, it was close. Forty-six percent Glizzybot, fifty. Oh wait, it tightened a bit. It's Hold on. tightening, and the votes are still coming it's, in. It's teetering here between oh. forty-seven and forty-six. <laughs> Well, Trump audio package has 54% currently with 6,000 votes in it. That is pretty significant, but we'll wait and see. But uh, Glizzybot, we love you, but Trump really just had such a year for sounds. Yeah. So, okay, we're, it's 57 Trump. We're going to call it Glizzy. Love you, though, Trump. buddy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a Trump, though. Congratulations, Mr. President. <sighs> He, you know, he Mr. might President. go to jail. He might lose all of his uh, court cases, but at least he'll have won this round. <laughs> uh, uh, consolation prize. A beautiful consolation. All right. Up next, looks like we've got, ooh, the death bell sound versus I never did and the interview. Boogie. Just take it in. Just, just take it in. Remember everything that, you know. We've experienced while this bell told, and the, the, how it resonates in your soul. Just two. Okay, no, we're ready. We can do it. I was feeling it. Okay. Uh, but boogie. So go ahead with the boogie ones. I never did. Yeah, you, you I did never it. did. <laughs> uh, I did work at a small gaming store back in 2006, 2007. I am disabled. Uh, recognized by the state of Arkansas, but also the United States government. That's there's fine. that. Now, the, the downside to that is I am extremely depressed. So there's some mental health issues that we bring to the table. Okay. And then it's workable. physically, uh, I, I am morbidly obese. I have no references, uh, no work history, and no education. And when you Google my name, you might see rumors that I beat my ex-wife and I am also a pedophile. You should mention I'm also a felon. You can't beat that. Two years. I yeah. never did. Yeah, you... <laughs> I, you can't beat that. You could throw it up, but... All right, I'm that, throwing it up. It's just, wow. You know, to be served such a wonderful soundbite on like a beautiful sterling silver tray. <laughs> just gorgeous. What? It's close. Oh Ooh. my God. This you guys, this is this is surprising me. Okay, death bell sound fifty four percent. This is really surprising. The job interviews at forty six percent. People, please get your votes I in. Never did. It, it, it matters. I never did. I thought Boogie was gonna sweep this. Now people I love, love the I love the death bell. People love people the death bell. love the bell, man. But that Boogie interview is like legendary. Fifty two percent death bell, so it is tightening. 7,000 votes in, guys. Please cast your votes. It's teetering. Oh, it is oh 51 49. It is so close. I think what it comes down to, in my opinion, it's a versatility thing. Bell can be played anywhere. Boogie, it's got to be specific. Yeah. I don't know, sure. though. I, I feel well, like I, I can make it work. Anytime I, you play it, it's funny. <laughs> I mean, I never did have some versatility. I the job did. interview. That's true. Yeah. And I do love that one. 51% death bell, people. 10,000 votes. In. Oh, 52. So death bell took a, a stronger lead against Boogie. Wow. Real and tight, though. Real tight this race. Really, you know, you never know here on the Soundbike Olympics, folks. You just never know. Uh, that's 11,000 votes cast. 52% <laughs> death bell. I think we can wrap it up and wish Boogie a bon You think a bon so? I mean, it's. Well, it went from 51 to 52, so the trend is not even going in, the, in Boogie's favor. And there's 12,000 votes in. I mean, uh, but you're right. It's a lot. I of respect votes your decision. <laughs> Thanks, Boogie. I appreciate you understanding. Let me change your mind. <laughs> you know, I also was hoping Boogie uh, could take a win this year, but the death bell uh, tolls. 
for too, ev- too powerful, man. For everybody, yeah, it's coming. Mitch, we're coming for you. <laughs> So congratulations to the death bell. Yeah, I guess wow. we got to call it. It's it's holding strong here. <coughs> All right. Moving on, we've got uh, Jesse Lee Peterson, Mind Blowing Sound Drops versus Love's Shumpa Loompas. Go ahead, please, Zach. Wait. Wait. That's not the matchup. Uh, it's it's, uh, yeah, it it's uh, oh, Shumpa right, Loompa versus uh, It's a Rainy Day in Los oh, Angeles. Right. There and is. you screaming, it's it. Two uh, crew sound bites mm. against each other. Very oh, interesting. interesting. Um, so I'm gonna play love first. Where's my sound by Civil War? Where's my Shumpa Lumpa? Got it. It's dead. It's <laughs> that dead. that sound is so fucking weird. It's dead. Doesn't it sound like a blown out <laughs> weird distorted? Yeah. It's a rainy day out here in Los Angeles. It sure is. Listen, I I personally don't understand the hype on mine. Loves is great. Where's my Shumpa Loompa? Where is the Shumpa Loompa? And also, fuck Taco Bell, man. You know. Hey, what have they done for us lately? Have they reached out? Have they sent us gift cards? We've been riding for them hard, and I see nothing <sighs> they in the inbox. They dude, don't I, fuck with us, dude. Dude, we've us. sold more Taco Bell than that dog by now. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> R.I.P. by the way. R.I.P. Rip. Rip so go. go ahead. Let's get the the uh, voting up. We've got okay, it's going up. Ethan Package versus Love Shumpa Loompas. Shout out. They sent us gift cards during Sam's Chicken Sandwich Taco Era. That was a long time ago. Right. It's a rainy right. day up That was before my run. That was yeah. before I even knew what, what Chupa Taco Bell was. <clears throat> looking good. 54%. Another 55% one, though. Chupa Loompa. Very good. Close, though. Yeah, I think that's a dub. That's 56% you're pulling away. Yeah. 57%. That's a dub. Wow. That's a Chupa Loompa victory. <laughs> Congratulations, bro. Thank you, sir. People Thank get mad when much. you call it this fast, Ethan. I'm just Dude, warning you. Dude, there's 7,000 votes. I'm just they're, warning they're, you. They're, they, Listen, they we, get have, mad. we have so much to do. I, Th- there is a 0% chance that mind overtakes it. It is my obligation 57%, to just let you know. 8,000 votes. Statistically, it would be impossible. Uh, maybe that's true. Where's my Shumpa Lumpa? Where is my Shumpa Lumpa? That's just a blow. Love does Lumpa. continue to uh, pull ahead, though. So I think I think you're right that yeah. this is pretty much wrapped up. That's wow. a Shumpa Lumpa dub. Congratulations, guys. Love. Guys. Congratulations. Wow. <laughs> wow. I appreciate that, guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hawk is proud. The Hawk Dad didn't is watching proudly. Yes. The Hawk didn't make it in to the bracket this year. I mean, this year. It was a very niche. It's a very niche sound <laughs> effect, but it was yeah. good though. It did always make me laugh. Honorable mention. Okay, so um, fantastic. Well, let's keep pr- uh, advancing. Let's keep going. Love's all the way up to sixty percent, by the way. So yeah, that was a clear I winner. I can't. You got to move the bracket because I can't see the name. Uh, love. Oh, and I, I missed death moving bell. up the death bell. Yeah. Wow, guys. Oh, I'm done. So that that's uh, the first half here. We have wow. tipster, Trump, death bell. And Shumpa Loompa uh, on this side. Let's go to the other side. All right, moving so, on to this guys. side. First up is Michaela versus Rich Love. This oh. is a really nice matchup. Yes, this is going to be tough. I don't know what I'm going to choose. So we got makeup bag makeup versus bag. five. Yeah, go ahead, Michaela. Yeah. Um. Is this going to make me look like Babby? This filter is supposed to make you look like Babby. Very good. Can't, that's the one that started it all. Oh yeah, because Sam, play the one of Sam. That's the, I saw Sam doing it. Yeah, oh, and I was like, yeah, it's kind so of a variation. And weird and random. Why? Kim <laughs> yeah, so that really a good impression, frankly. Uh, up against Rich Lux. Dan, Dan blocked me. I can't stand Dan. Can't even ride Space Mountain without Dan ruining my vacation. Boom. <laughs> I can't stand Dan. <laughs> Sorry, Rich. Sorry to hear that. Make a bag. <laughs> uh, Lizzie Bell, thank you so much and shout out. Good luck out there at college. We love you. Kim Kardashian. So, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna activate the poll here. This is a big moment, guys. Please take this seriously. Take and it make, seriously. Make don't, sure your voice is heard. Don't fuck around. It's up to you. 50, okay. Early polling is close. Okay, no, it's not. Oh, wow. 
Okay. Oh my god. This is a little unexpected, but I'm oh happy my god. for Rid. What a blowout. I thought Michaela had such a strong year. Dan is the queen. You can't do nothing wrong. Dan but is the queen. I believe that <laughs> the the rivalry between Rich and Dan has is truly a tapestry of fantastic <laughs> memories. Um what we call uh, it? That's that's a clear Rich. I mean, level. yeah, that's a total sweep. There. 71%. I apologize if people didn't get their votes in, but clearly Who's at the podium here. This one's pretty cut and dry. That's yeah. And and apologies, Michaela. I know you're you watch the show and I love you and I'm so sorry that uh you didn't make you didn't win. So sorry. So sorry. Dan and Rich have history. There's a lot of history there. A lot of beef. <laughs> Dan is jealous of me. Dan the Queen. I'm very, very jealous. All right, so moving on. Mayo for Sam versus Carita. Mayo for Sam! <laughs> Mayo for Sam! A carrot! A carrot! I think it says, aren't you just a creature missing? And he's a gem of the videos? Ah, shit. Is that anything wrong with streamers writing their chat to build and constructive? But just to wipe the enemy community's pixel eyes with turning across. I can't screen. believe he's actually talking. It sounds like he's just going <laughs> like actually just mail doing that. All right, we got mail for Sam. Thank you, Joe Biden. We got XQC carrot. Uh, this one could go either way. I I frankly have no idea. Oh, people are saying we forgot rectangular. Did you all think consider that we, one? We we briefed about that. Yeah, we briefed about it. It what it came down to is that the. Well, first of all, we, we, for the most part, weren't including songs. I know Dream Nightmare came in there, but it was more the acapella version than the actual song that gets used as a soundbite. And then as far as the rectangular, uh, Zach pointed out that the one that, the part of the rectangular that's stuck in all of our head and that gets the most use isn't actually so Sean Stevens. <laughs> it's the Joker. Huh? I'll play it. Oh, that part. <laughs> well, he does do a thing there, though. He that's does. He part. goes, ah. ah. I don't know that ah. that's true. I like the ah. I hear the ah. ah. But, but, but I don't know. He almost always plays ah. the Joker one. Yeah. But I remember that I'm rectangular. Ah. Ah. So you guys ah. decided rectangular does not belong. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it, it was in the running. Don't get me wrong. But we had, you know. We we had a bracket. We had a limited amount of slots, and it just uh... it was using performance enhancing sounds with the Joker. <laughs> right? Yeah, it was, it was Barry Bonds. Well, I'll tell you this: it, it wasn't going to win the whole tournament, so uh, very very unlikely. Yeah. So, okay. Well, moving on, we've got. Let's see. Carita is winning sixty one percent. Yeah, 9, very votes. strong showing on Mayo Carita. for Sam. Sorry, apologies to Sam and to President Biden. You know, you guys had a really terrific showing this year, and I, and we're all proud. We are. But congratulations to XQC. A carrot. A carrot. Oh, shit. He wins. I'm going to send him a, uh, one of those cool calculator watches. Casio? Carrot. Yeah, Casio. I got you, bro. <laughs> All right. Moving down. I can't see. You got to move the screen down. Oh, sorry. For me, Dan. Uh, so Thank next you. up, it's uh, the King Star Rim Shot versus all different flavors. You know, I got to pee again. I've been sipping down these sodas. But go ahead with it, and I'll be back. I'm not taking a pause to pee. <laughs> so the King all Star Rim Shot. All different flavors. <laughs> all different flavors. And may I say these are <clears throat> both quick keys for me. Uh, you you have both of these on speed dial. Correct. Yeah, I mean they're both have a lot of use, get a lot of traction. I mean, again, uh, I'm I'm Jimmy's number one hater here, but I I do love the all different flavors. And also, it's not just all different flavors. Uh, we we lumped in the stop with the tomatoes on this too, right? You want to hit us with stop one of those? Stop with the tomatoes. But Keemstar <laughs> is also Brantley. Uh, you are a loser. You're a loser. You're a fun sucker. So You're that, my dad. That was this year? Um, Are we certain about that? That feels so long ago. Yeah, it, it was. I Because I remember I, I watched it over winter break, and I'm like, I'm saving this before I delete it. And then we watched it when I got back from break. Got it. Yeah. So it may have occurred last year, but it right. was introduced to the show at a later time. Okay, well, I threw up the poll. 
And, uh, ooh, we got a close one here. Jimmy is taking a pretty strong lead here, though. 58 to 42. Don't know if Keemstar is going to be able to overcome such a gap. And in fact, Jimmy's lead flavors. is increasing as more votes come in. We're up to 59%. Uh, I think... I think it's pretty obvious that Jimmy's going to take this one. I'll let it get up to 10,000 because, you know, I respect democracy and I respect your vote. And I respect Stop with the tomatoes, you're killing me. Yeah, you know, I want to give you guys all a chance to make your opinion heard here on the H3 Podcast. That's what we're all about here on this podcast. Is that your Terry uh, Gross impression? Hi, it's Terry Gross. Thank you for listening to NPR. You'd like to... We're doing our winter fun drive right now. If you enjoy all of the programming that is brought to you by NPR, donate today and you can get a year subscription to the New York Times. Thank you so much for listening. Now, we're going to have uh, our next guest is going to be talking about um, cultural cooking from uh, the Caribbean. Yes, and um, and after that, we will be joined by a special guest who will be talking about uh, Mongolian throat singing here on NPR. And if you enjoy this kind of culture programming here on the uh, here on NPR, then please consider making a donation today to National Public Radio. All right, we're at ten thousand votes. Jimmy has got this shit locked down. He's at sixty-one percent. Ending the poll right now. Jimmy won. All different flavors. All different flavors. Stop with the tomatoes. Right, what did I miss? Me. Uh, nothing. Jimmy won uh, that last round. He yeah. beat out Kim Star by a pretty healthy margin in 61-39. You, you guys know what... First of all, I agree that that soundbite is iconic, but you guys know that you're inviting him back on the show. We have to... We can't ignore him if he's what? going to distance. Wait, what are you talking about? Jimmy. Invite him back on the show? Yeah, if he's winning the tournament, no. he's got, he needs to make us... A... He's not winning the tournament. <laughs> I'll really? The, yeah, I'll rig this shit. No, you won't. I will literally rig no, this shit. No, this, the integrity of this is more important than any fucking thing. <laughs> I don't care about the general election. I don't care about <laughs> whatever's happening in Venezuela. Is that what's happening? Yeah, that's the new hotspot. <laughs> that guy's crazy. All right, round eight, which is the final, uh, is this semifinals, quarterfinals? I don't know. Has Jimmy um, texted you, Zach? Surprisingly, no. Interesting. He's probably doing a root canal. Or Let something. me check my DMs. <laughs> Some shit. <laughs> Well, if he did, you you would get a message, I'd get a text, and Cam would get a text. He he hits everybody. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me see. Um, All right. Um, no, nothing from Jimmy. Thank God. Very interesting. <clears throat> All right. Uh, so the final uh, of this round is Dream Nightmare versus Anuk Chestnuts. Wow, two beautiful two titans, uh, two beautiful me songs. Would you like me to play both songs? Yes, that... just a bit. Just give us a taste. All right, you got it. Um, one. You can put up the poll, and while we're listening, all right, throwing up the poll. Here we go. One second. Okay, here we go. Enough. <laughs> Wait, this is not the soundbite. Yeah, not that one. His his. Oh, I I I misunderstood. I thought you said song. I thought you meant that song. Well, no, 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 yeah. no, no. His voice is beautiful. He doesn't need background music for it to be a song. <laughs> I can't sleep. It's a nightmare. A nightmare. A nightmare. A nightmare. I wow. I can't breathe when you're not there. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. Dream is leading right now, fifty-four percent. A nook. I thought a nook. I did it all for the Anuki. I thought he was gonna really have a big showing, but forty-six percent. He's still got a chance. Five thousand votes. A nook fans, get the votes in. Rock the vote. What do they mean, rock the vote? What does that even mean? I think it was because it was, it started because it was like a rock concert. Oh. To get kids excited about voting. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. But then people still say that. it though, right? Uh, or is that just. I think much? it's just kind of entered the cultural lexicon it's, now, but. It's an organization now. Rock the Vote is a nonprofit liberal organization. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Like, okay. Without that context, it makes no sense. But we all yeah, just, kind of. We all just walk on like it makes sense. <laughs> right. Well, damn. Yeah, I enough. I love you, buddy. But you are getting. You are not advancing by the look of it. Dream, 
54% Anouk, Chestnuts, 46%, 9,000 votes cast. This is looking like a done deal from my vantage point. Yeah, it looks like you got it. Maybe there's a bit of a recency bias going on here because uh, Chestnuts has been with us since the very beginning of the year, um, whereas the Nightmare Thing is a much more recent show meme. So that might be helping Let's out go! a little bit. Yeah, you, you, it's so hard to say. You I'm know, seeing some... Or... I, I hate to say it, but I see some people saying they're over chestnuts. In the I've, a lot of people at the time, even during the, the supremacy right. of chestnuts, people were saying, I guess I it's always been it. a little controversial. It is. Yeah. It's highly, highly contentious. My, my favorite is when Zach sometimes will play a nuke singing, uh, My Heart Will Go On, just randomly. I love oh, that I one. I love that really one. Good. Go ahead, Zach. Uh, I have so many. Hold on. I got to find it. <laughs> uh, da, 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 my Heart Will Go On. Where the fuck is it? Just play me any Anook song. I love any Anook. You know. Just hit us with some Anook. But, but we can we can call it for Dream. Congrats, dude. Anook uh, is a gracious loser, and he's decided to serenade you uh, to congratulate you. He is a gracious, gracious uh, loser and a great sport. The sportsmanship is phenomenal from Anook. All right, thank you. Okay, so with a nook moving up, oops, that's the wrong layer. Uh, here we go. So we are closing in, you guys. We're moving over back to the left side. So this would be the this would be the quarterfinals that we're entering right now, right? That's correct. Yes, it would be the quarterfinals. I mean, there's only there's eight there's eight contestants left. Eight that's contestants about left. Four, four, four really rounds. Fast. Yeah. So quarterfinals. Tipster is going up against Cheers. Donald Trump. Wow. It's about 110 degrees of this room. I think Tipster is going to win easy. I mean, maybe not. Trump has been surprising us uh, this whole time. No, I'm sorry. Let's see. We are strong. Let's throw the poll up. You guys know what it is. All Cheers. right. So quarter final. Yeah, just throw it up. And Zach, you can play them as as. Uh, Cheers, my dude. Yeah. Love ya. No, no homo. homo. Cheers. Cheers, my dude. Cheers, my dude. Yeah, the the. I did everything right, and they indicted me. The divide on chestnuts is fascinating to me because I, I just love everything he does. And people are saying, uh, "Fly me to the moon." That was that was really something. Oh, that is good. Fantastic one as well. So we got Tipster versus Trump audio package. Now I'm thinking Tipsters is going to win this one, and it looks like early polling shows. Shut up. That it is in the lead, although it's quite Silly close. Fifty-four percent tipster, forty-seven percent Trump audio package. This is very close, very close. Love Only ya. two thousand votes in, so let's love, love. get those big dumps in. Shut oh, up. it's narrowing. Uh, uh, and by the way, yeah, uh, I noticed. Yeah, I, I accidentally moved up uh, a nook instead of dream. I fixed it. Dream, dream was the one that was going in that last dude. round. Sorry, Cheers I tried to dude. sneak him in there. I was trying to <laughs> put weights in a nook. <laughs> 53% cheers, my dude. Wow, 6,000 votes cast. It's, it's teetering oh, between 53 and 52. So it is very close, Love my ya. dudes. Ooh, Love ya. boy. Don't yeah, this is. Fat pig. You can't do it. MAGA. <laughs> you can't somebody do it. post this on The Donald so we can get some Trump cheers, votes. <laughs> Rest in peace. Love ya. Rest in peace. Um, mic. Turn up the mic. 8,000 votes. It's too close. Cheers, I can't call it until close there's at call. least a 10,000. Yep. It's too close to call. Cheers, my dude. Yeah. 50, Cheers, my dude. Currently at 52% tip. My dude. Love ya. 48% Trump audio package. This, Silly woman. This is phenomenally close. <laughs> Dighted me. <laughs> it's about 110 degrees of this room. Silly woman. Cheers, my dude. Love ya. <laughs> Uh, no. Mom, uh, they're both Mom. Really good. Uh, 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 Mom, I'm sorry. Uh, I almost Mom. feel like these would be my two picks for the finalists if if it could have worked out that way. But it's I, tough because I love something these about the Trump one. I love oh. them all, but something about just voting for Trump that just I'm adverse to. <laughs> you At know. least I've seen what a vagina looks like. True. What about <laughs> you, Trump? Have you? Well, we're, we're closing in on 11,000 votes, and it's looking quite stagnant. It's holding very steady at that 52%. Cheers, my dude. So that, Cheers, I, my I dude. think at this point at 11,000 votes and no movement in the past 5,000 votes, we can wrap it up and call Tipster has defeated President He's Trump in the 2023 general election. 
We're have, gonna have to do a recount though, because I heard that this uh, this uh, election was stolen. That's what I hear. Check There's Georgia. Massive fraud happening. All we need to find is uh, about <coughs> thirteen hundred votes. Right. You could just find <coughs> me thirteen hundred votes. Even less. <laughs> Maybe five hundred. We just need five hundred votes. All right. Congrats, Tip. Big Tip out there, man. This is your year, buddy. This is your year. Uh, oh, what's going on? Photoshop, what are you doing? No, get off of it. It's like... So, as you work on that, the next one is... We've got the Death Bell Nell. Ushering in the dark age of uh, Mitch McConnell. The prophecy says that when the full moon is ahead, and Mitch McConnell is sacrificed that uh, the age of demon will uh, cover the earth and the bell is heard across the lands versus Chupalupa. Wow. Go ahead, Zach. Where's my Chupalupa? Where's my Chupalupa? Where is your Chupalupa? Where's man? my Chupalupa? I think this will be, might be where I die, where I lose. You think so? Yeah, I don't think I got no chance. <coughs> the bell. Yeah, the bell got me. The bell is is strong, but the, <laughs> the bell is tolling. Chupalumpa is a fan favorite, clearly. The bell oh. is tolling. Oh my god, what is happening here? Where's my Chupalumpa? Where's, Where's my Chupalumpa? Uh, can you throw the poll up? Or uh, I can do yeah, it. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, but I can, can do it. Can you throw this one up? Because uh, I got it. My Photoshop. I got it, baby. Oh yeah, yeah. I got it. I got it. Do you have your passports? Do you have your shots? Shumpa Loompa or yes. <laughs> Bell. Where's my Shumpa Loompa? <laughs> wow, this is powerful, right. Ian. Wow. I'll do a little toss it up. All right, people, get your votes in. Oh, we got it. We got a live rendition. Ian. <coughs> Ian. Yes. Oh my God, I love your work. Yeah. <coughs> Woo wee. Yeah. Come on here down now, boy. Bring those Shumpa Loompas on down here now, boy. <laughs> God dang Chupalumpa! <laughs> I tell you, they left my damn Chupalumpa out there in California again. God <laughs> damn it! <laughs> well, Love is trying to influence the uh, <laughs> the voting. <laughs> Clearly, he's shaking it. He's dancing. You know, I'm just I'm just enjoying myself over here. Well, it's okay. I mean, <laughs> you should lobby for yourself, Chupalumpa. It is close for considering how in incredible. Uh, impact the bell had on us this year 57% mm. bell 43% Shumpa Loompa mm -hmm. well, I think this is my time this the bell is ringing for you my friend the bell is ringing for the Shumpa Loompa I am so sorry love but congratulations <laughs> on making it this far really oh no he's gone it, it really is a, an exciting and a special uh, honor for you so. yeah it is thank you guys yeah. that's very fun very nice but it's it's quite close so that's we're gonna wrap it's a, a ten thousand votes we can call it 55 percent bell 45 percent shoopa loompa wow we're wow. narrowing in guys that so we've got the left bracket we got cheers my dude and death bell maybe we should wrap this bracket up if you'd like to, I guess it, it doesn't really matter, let's right? Let's prep for the well, finals. Guys, this is the semi-finals. The winner advances to the coveted final match. I this, guess, so this is a little confusing. We'll call the semi-final one. And it's a uh, tipster. Bracket one semi-final, baby. Cheers, my dude. Cheers, my Versus dude. death bell sound. Wow. Cheers, my dude. Love okay. Him. No homo. Oh, man, this is a big moment. This oh my God, could scared. decide the fate scared. of the tournament. Everybody's on the edge of their seat. Cheers, my dude. Is somebody Cheers, created? You created the poll. I've just hit send. I'm scared, dude. Oh, my Love God. You. No homo. Never Love been you. so nervous. No homo. Yeah. Guys, get your votes in. Tipster and the Death Bell are in fierce oh my competition. God, it's so close. No 50-50, bro! 50-50. Oh what? Ah. What? Thou guys, get your votes Cheers in. Every vote dude. matters. 2,000 votes cast. It is 50-50, neck and neck. Oh Petering, one up, one God, down. Dude. We rarely see matchups this close. These are two titans of the oh soundboard. People, get it in now. 
tipsters winning uh, at this moment with 51 percent oh that is not significant uh, that is not statistically uh, significant <laughs> Five thousand votes people now is the time to make your voice heard now is the time to believe democracy ya, is real ya, ya, 50 50 ya. again oh my god oh man oh yeah my god. you probably you probably should have kept that to yourself, my guy. Man. My guy. My guy. The death bell is my really guy. showing such a great... Com <laughs> he, it's such a great competitor this year. I didn't expect it, to be honest. Tipster pulled slightly ahead one more time. 51%. Closing like. in 10,000 <laughs> votes. 51% tipster, 49% death bell sound. Oh, my God, Guys, we need dude. more votes. We need more votes. Jesus. We need more votes. Love it's simply ya. not no, enough. Cheers, my dude. 11,000 votes. Love it ya. is still 5149 in favor of Big Tip. Wow. Cheers, Rock the boat, people. Rock it. And Dan, this was your hope and dream and your prediction is that Tip would take the whole the thing tip down, is, right? Tip is my personal pick for the winner, but I don't want to... And, and listen, I do not want to disparage the death bell. That thing is Cheers, a juicer. It has cracked me up so Love many ya. times this year. Zach is a genius Cheers, with it, dude. with his use of Thank it. Thank you very much. It's... It's a great soundbite. What can I say? 50-50 is back. I, I stand with Tip as well. That's my... <laughs> oh, cheers, the thing my is, there's, there's a certain level of camaraderie. <laughs> because the death bell is just... It's just a bell. It's not, it's not going to know it mm. one. Right. right. And Mitch certainly wouldn't. He doesn't know what he's, the fuck's going well, on. Well, yeah. He's, his mind is an alternate. I, I said this for the dimension. start of the competition. Cheers, my dude, is my favorite. I'm, I oh, voted shit. for it. Well, at this moment, it is 50-50. 13,500 votes cast. This is too close, oh, the call. God. This oh my is God. unbelievable. Please, Damn, everybody. My heart. Literally out of my chest. Kippy's getting an endorsement of three of the crew members. That's... Love ya. Oh. And I'll tell you this. Thanks to YouTube's incredible infrastructure, we can't see the exact amount that each one got. <laughs> right. yep. So we need one to go to 51. It does, it does, I believe... Put the little highlight box. Fifty-one tip around whichever one's in the lead. So if if it's fifty-fifty, but one is ahead of the other, it'll have that box dude. around it. At oh, this yeah. moment, we have fourteen thousand votes, and this is for the finalist. Fifty-one percent. Let's go. Tip in the polls, my dude. Tip the yeah. polls tip in his favor. Oh. Tip him. Fifty-one percent. I'm coming out and I'm endorsing uh, Tip too. So. Oh, no, we got four. Love, late in the game for that. Love you. Well, I'm, 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 I'm not sure. giving out my endorsement, but I understand. I can't decide. Frankly, <laughs> people say vote Bell I do, or die. I, do, I love the idea of Tipster winning. I think you that's can't smart. go against the Tipster Union. Cheers, my dude. I'm not Cheers, going against. My dude. I'm just abstaining. <laughs> just fine. Fifteen thousand votes. That's a tremendous amount, and I think listen. What a competition. We're all so blessed to be here on a day like this. Yeah. People will remember these for years to come. 51% tipster. Cheers, An my dude. 49% death bell sound. Tipster, my dude, you are advancing to the finals. Wow. Woo. Okay. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> Love ya. No homo. <laughs> God damn, though. Intense. Intense. Tipster made it. He made it all the he way. He made it. He made it at least to the finals. I don't know if he's going to take it all, but he is in the last round Is he round tweeting? Here. Is he watching? Do we have any... Uh, no. I don't think he has any idea that we talk about. <laughs> Who wants to look at this fat fucking face? I can tell him. He, know, oh, he knows we talk about him, no? Uh, yeah, I guess at yeah. this point he's probably... It's all love. It's all love. It's all love. All right, oh, moving yeah. on to love the uh, no. right bracket, the second bracket here. We need to name... A champion of that bracket so that we can name a grand champion of the whole ass thing. So who's up first? I can't see it because it's too zoomed in. Uh okay. It is. Uh so right, this would be our uh quarter round quarterfinal round three. So we did a little out of order here. Uh and it is Rich Lux. Dan is the queen. Dan could do nothing wrong. Plus I can't stand Dan, plus all the other ones. Against the king of Twitch himself, XQC, with Caretta. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get that pull up and let's start listening I to those sounds. Dan. Very good. Dan is the queen. You can't do nothing wrong. Dan is the queen. Dan is jealous of me. Love <laughs> that. And Dan ruined my whole Disney trip. 
Okay. A carrot. A carrot. <laughs> XQC, <laughs> that's it though? Just a carrot? No, it's I mean, all the mumbling and yeah. stuff too. Yeah, I got it. I don't know. Rich really. Uh, Rich, I love his sounds there. He, Apple. Oh, Apple too, right? Apple. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> uh, is the poll up? It is right now. All right, people. This is an easy. To me, really? I feel like yeah. it's an easy rich luck, right? Yeah, absolutely. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a blowout. Damn. It's an absolute blowout. Wow. I guess XQC had an easy path to the to the he quarterfinals. I think he must Mickey have. Mouse ring, dude. Who did he compete against? Uh, well, he defeated uh, Mayo for Sam, uh, which beat Kid Rock. So technically, it beat all that out. And then it also beat out Pearl. Uh, mm. Wasn't mm -hmm. there another one? Oh, that's it, huh? Mm -hmm. No, that's it. All right, well, so, anyway. yeah, it, it, didn't, it didn't have too hard of a path to uh, to the quarters here. Yeah. Rich Lux, 77%, and congratulations, Rich. Uh, Rich, yeah, if I may. Yeah. That's an easy dub. You see, Carita. That's a huge, that's an easy win, and we love to see it. Good, good luck, Dan. Rich. We Dan. love you, and we appreciate you. And, and Dan, don't ruin his Disney trip, please. I'll try. I, I, owe, I think we owe him Space Disney trip. I have never gone out of my way to uh, ruin anything for him, but... Ruining I'd like to believe that. But. <laughs> All right, and then uh, our final quarterfinal, uh, before we move on and find our last finalist here. All different flavors versus Dream Acapella. The Jimmy Lee one is really sneaking in All here. All different flavors. Uh, I really, again, I don't know which way this is going to go. All different flavors. I have no idea. I can't sleep, it's a nightmare. A nightmare, a nightmare, a nightmare. I, I can't bring a nightmare. You're not there. <laughs> You're not there. Let's go! <laughs> All right, I'm throwing All it up. Quarterfinal lead. number four, our final quarterfinal. <coughs> the poll All is up. Players. And we're off to the races, people. I love, I really me. like the lore of the Jimmy Lee Ooh, one. Close. It's just, it's just so random. And it shouldn't be funny. All different For flavors. what he's saying isn't funny, but it is funny. <laughs> and that's so That's Jimmy the only Lee. time that Jimmy is funny. But I'll tell you, Jimmy, I'm so sorry to tell you, but early polling shows 53% in favor of Dream Acapella. That is 47%, so it is very close, but I will say their Dream is All at an, a healthy advantage at this moment in a close race. And in fact, he just gained another point. 54% for Dream with 6,000 votes cast, my friend. Ah. It's looking like locked up for Dream. How much is this pro Dream and how much of this is actually just anti Jimmy, I wonder? I don't know. I think people <laughs> really were voting for oh. Jimmy. They really were. Yeah. yeah. You know? I mean, Jimmy beat out uh, Kennedy reading the exactly. erotica, which was very powerful. Exactly, man. So, I guess you might be right. Well, with 8,000 votes cast, and oh, it just, it's actually... Tightened a little. It, oh. it just actually <laughs> narrowed a bit. <laughs> it went from 55 to 54% Dream, 46% Jimmy oh Lee. Oh my gosh. But yes. now it's back up to 50. We can lock this up, Dream. You think so? Yeah, 10,000 votes cast. Dream has 55%. And Jimmy, we love you. We're all rooting for you, well, and go! I look forward to all different flavors of content from you, and not just the same one. All different we want flavors. different flavors, right? All all Dude, I'm so tired. All Fuck me. All My all eyes are like closing. All, <laughs> all right, I'm, I'm calling it. I'm know. calling it. I'm definitely going to need something for the ride home. Congratulations, Dream. This is really something. Okay, so we have a uh, semifinal round two to determine right now <coughs> between. Oh, and I forgot to move the tips rope. Rich between uh, Lux. Rich Lux and Dream here. This is the semifinals of the second bracket. Two titans of the industry. Rich Lux down soundbite package versus Dream Nightmare Acapella. Fantastic years, both strong, strong yeah. competitors. Let's see, let's pull her up the pole and let's see who is going to yeah. advance to the it's final Justin. stage. I can't stand it. Wow, there's yeah, so the much queen. on the Keep line. Wrong, Dan. It's the queen. I want to just uh, compliment and, uh, and appreciate all the competitors thus far. It's been such a battle. Everyone has put up just such a good fight, such a time man. of their life. Uh, a I'm phenomenal man. showing by everybody. <laughs> now, guys. Right out of the exit polling here with 2,000 votes cast, 
We have a clear winner looking like Rich Lux is sweeping this year's Yo, tournament. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, I did wow, not wow. see this coming. Da, da, Rich da, da, da. Lux is ahead 67% to Dreams Acapella, 33%, 4,000 votes in. This is truly stunning. Ethan Klein is like for the people. Thank you, bro. I, <laughs> I, I love that one. <laughs> I don't think I've heard yeah, it. I don't, I'm not familiar with that the one. The streaming to me is rigged. Right. He was riding for mm -hmm. you. Okay. Dude, this is a, this is it. I mean, there's 7,000 votes, but there this is a call. Yeah, this is a blowout. Rich Lux, 67% to Dreams Easy Acapella, 33%. Yep. That's over. I can't stand that. Holy shit. Rich Lux has got to be stoked at home. This is a huge honor. Dan ruined my whole Disney trip. <laughs> All right, well, there it is. So... Let's just take a moment to reflect if you can move him down there to the winner's bracket. Yeah, wow. Here it is. Tipster versus Rich Lux. Two wow. creators. Mm. Satellite uh, friends of the show. I don't know that we've had that before. Yeah, interesting. It was me and Hassan last year. <laughs> oh, it was? Uh -huh. Wait, you? what was yours? Flocka. Mm. Did you win? No, I lost. It was rigged. Wait, who won? That's not what happened. Hussein Pecker. No, he didn't win. Didn't he? He came no. in second, didn't he? <laughs> no, he didn't. Yeah, he, he, you may have been in the uh, oh, semifinals. Maybe in the semifinals. Yeah, I think he beat you in the semifinals, but then Hassan lost to uh, what did Howie. we say? Howie. Last Howie. Year. Right, Howie won. Yeah, uh, and let's be real, it was Howie's year. Yeah, it was Howie's year. It was. Uh, okay, so we have Tipster. Cheers, my dude. And I gotta say, if it was anyone's year, it was Colleen's, and she did not perform. Right. Yeah. No, she got the board. boot, dude. I think not it's because it, the sound bites are good. They're not great, though. I don't. Yeah, I don't care mm -hmm. for them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're not alone. Nobody did. But golly, what do we do? What are our predictions here? I mean, Tipster versus Rich Lux. I didn't. I didn't see Rich Lux going this far, but now that he has, it's got me. It's got my eyebrows raised, and I'm wondering, is Rich Lux the dark horse to win this? I don't tournament? think, I mean, I, I saw it coming. <laughs> I, I feel like I've been seeing mm -hmm. comments throughout pretty much the whole year saying Rich Lux is going to win the soundbite tournament wow. at the end of the year. And if anything, it's Tipster is the, kind of the latecomer to this. And uh, even though it, it had a lot of fans here in the office, I, I actually am surprised that it made it all the way to the finals. I, uh, I that one, actually, I, I expected. And I'll tell you, uh, there's been a lot of lobbying in this office for Tipster, which is fine. <laughs> lobbying is free speech. Yeah. Uh, money is speech. <laughs> <laughs> I got to say, though, I think I like the Rich Lux ones just a little bit more. I, I've definitely said them more randomly at stoplights. Just random ass <laughs> I can't I'll stand say, jealous of me. Uh, real quick, uh, Dan, I got some bad news from you. Oh, what's that? you? Heard from Jimmy. Uh huh. Dan cannot stop the Jersey Outlaw in a tomato. What did wait? <laughs> oh, well, you lost, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, no, you lost. But it wasn't Dan. You're right. D Dan cannot stop you. You're, yeah, I, I, you're an unstoppable force. That's nature, fine. my friend. <laughs> Are we, uh... Well, let's just get... Should I show video? Should we... I mean, do we, do, we, do we just listen? Maybe just listen. I mean, we've heard them all a million times. Let's close times our eyes. Point. Let's really take it in. Go play me tipster through and through, and let's just... Let it ride. Feel it. Oh. oh, okay. We're back. <laughs> no, that, I, I pressed that as closing our eyes. Oh. 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 Didn't really oh. Not a bad idea. <laughs> Go ahead. He, silence, Ian's please. too high, high level. Please, okay. uh, silence on the on the court. Cheers, yeah. my dude. Oh, that's a loading screen. Jesus there Christ, we dude. We're all silent. Go ahead, play. Cheers, my dude. Love ya. No homo. Dan. I can't stand Dan. Dan is the queen. You can't do nothing wrong. Mm. Dan is the queen. Mm. Rich has a lot more entries. And Dan ruined my whole Disney trip. Right. Mm. Cheers, my dude. Love ya. No homo. Mm. Now, that's Zach, powerful. I know who you want to win. Yeah, um... But can you at least appreciate Rich Lux being oh, a competitor? Absolutely. I yeah. mean, it's a classic fucking soundbite. <laughs> yeah. um, great tone, uh, versatility. Uh, you know, Dan's always on the show. You know, <laughs> you can always drop it. Right. The cheers, my dude, though, it's just like giving yourself a high five. <laughs> it really I, is. I, and that's kind of Zach's baby, I think. Zach was, I, am I mistaken, Zach, that you were really pushing for that one? Like, when, when it initially came up? Like, that was just out of nowhere Zach played well, it. Well, Ian initially found it, oh, to okay. give him credit. What's the background there, Ian? Which, which, which one? Cheers? The cheers, my dude. Sorry, my eyes were closed. And I was, <laughs> <laughs> and 
No, I just saw it. I saw it floating around. You just somewhere. saw it online somewhere and saw thought it, it was so funny. And somewhere. We we snuck it in. We had this idea because Ethan had no idea about it. And we, we right. started playing it. And he's like, what the, fuck, like, Who is the that? fuck is that? <laughs> we're like, don't worry about it. Oh, yeah. Because right, we just whole... started around the office constantly <laughs> cheersing each other. Cheers, my dude. Right. It was some inside. Uh, yeah, it was just like kind of started as an inside joke. Yeah. Cheers, my dude. Well, it's not inside anymore. He's a he is in the grand champion running. <laughs> there he is in the finals. Him. Well, guys, get? strong aura to it immediately. <laughs> yeah. Woke King. Guys, at this moment, it is time to throw up the poll. <sighs> okay. At, after a long year, we sit here, December 13th. Two shows left, Tipster and Rich Lux, both friends of the show, both family. Yeah. Cheers, Cheers, my dude. dude. Love Here we go. No, no homo. Poll is dropping now. This is intense. I can't stand that. Guys, if your vote matters Cheers, at all, it dude. matters now. Get it in, people. Love ya. Do Cheers, not let other people speak for you. Dan, block me. <laughs> Wow. 2,000 it, votes in. Okay. It started dead even. Oh, wow. And then Rich just took a commanding lead. Cheers, my dude. Rich is at 62% now with 4,000 votes, which is frankly a commanding lead, as yeah. Dan said. I was expecting a closer one, but tipster fans out there, let's get out there and Dan, start tipping block. because this is not looking promising for tips. Yeah, no. Cheers, my dude. Love wow. You. No homo. Wow. Cheers, my dude. This music is so intense. 7,000 votes <laughs> cast, 62% Rich Lux. I am not seeing any motion. Wow. This continues to be a blowout, a shutout for Rich Lux. The tipster team is mourning. They cannot believe what's happening I now. They're in the bleachers. Their eyes. They're, they're just stunned. They're <laughs> saddened. That is the queen. 39%. They did Daddy. score a point. Tipster scored one point there. It's 39 to 61. Okay, okay. But it's too little, too late, probably, on the field here. <laughs> and, you know, I got to give my heart goes out to the Tipster fans because they thought this was this their year. They were wearing their hearts on their sleeves. They invested so much into this. <laughs> and uh, I really, my heart goes out to them. But I have to say, Rich Lux, Team Rich, is ecstatic. This is a that huge is moment for Rich Lux. The wow. Queen. <laughs> Guys, I think we we can call it because I think at we this have moment, a champion. Twelve thousand votes. Lux, <laughs> Rich Lux is holding firm at sixty-one percent. Rich Lux, you are the winner of our fourth annual soundbite tournament. Wow! Give it up. Wow! Wow! Rich, I am I am what so happy for you, man. I am so happy for you, buddy. I, I gotta be. I did not expect this. I really didn't. You see, that, I, I I I just had a feeling it was gonna go all the way. I was pulling for Tip. You know, I made that clear that I was cheering for him. But I respect those rich sound bites so rich, much, though. Huh? You wanted Rich. I wanted Rich. Yeah, you did. Why do you say that? Because you guys have there's a kinship. I've, it's you, a, you guys it's love a, each it's other. A, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And it, true. Yeah. Zach, how are you doing? Are you doing okay? I'm doing good. I'm glad Tipster was in the finals, but Rich, I tip the crown to you, my friend. Well yeah. done. <laughs> tip the yeah. crown. I tip the crown to you, and Rich, <laughs> you're the champion. And Dan is no longer the queen. Rich, you're the queen. Rich, there it is. There that it is. is so right, Zach. <laughs> I gotta say, um. This is our fourth annual, and what a tradition we've built here. We really need to build a pantheon to honor all of our winners. We need to plan something like that. Yeah, that's a good idea. Now that like it's really become a tradition, I, I think having kind of like a Hall of Fame or something Absolutely. would be pretty cool. Yeah. So, um, well, guys, it's been fun. It's been another fantastic soundbite tournament, and it's fun I every time. I had no idea this was going to happen. I didn't. <laughs> I really didn't. Um, so... We will be back on Friday for our final in-studio show. Uh-huh. And Sunday at 7 p.m. I hope you'll all tune in. It's available for everybody live on our channel. Our live show, we're doing the Steamies Live. 
It yes. is going to be so much fun. It's YouTube's so sexiest excited. night. We have been working so, so hard on this. And, and yeah. uh, I hope that you all come and join us and enjoy the show. Really going to be a terrific show, I think. At yeah, the, I think so. At the historic Dolby Theater. In the Dolby Theater, the very same Dolby oh. Theater where the Academy Awards, the Oscars that you all know and love. Suck it, streamies. You can only same dream place. of doing it there. Same place. The streamy to me. Streamies is like great. we're holding it this year at the conference hall at the Holiday Inn. Yeah, right. <laughs> Nobody cares. That's where you know. No offense, but that's where like they have like a QuakeCon. What was it? Sure. Yeah, QuakeCon would be. That's the type of thing that would happen in a Holiday Inn. Mm. No offense to the Quake fans, up there. we love them. <laughs> but. Um, Thank you guys. Thanks for participating. Really, wow, what a magical show. It really is just such a special time of the it's year. It's a good one. Yeah. I think Klein is like for the people. Thanks, brother. So true. I know that's true, and I appreciate you saying that. Man. I can't stand that. Love Lots that. of uh, thanks to Zach rolling in in the chat, by the way. I'm seeing a lot of props oh, to thank Zach. Thank you very much. Because he is the real queen. All these sound bites, they wouldn't be anything without Zach. Thank so you very, very much. Very, very true. Kind. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you, da uh, thank you, Zach. This is truly a dedication to a <laughs> craft Cheers, here. Yeah. And he didn't win, but you tipster, I fucking love you, man. Cheers, my dude. Cheers, my dude. Cheers, my Cheers, dude. My love you. No, no homo. homo. Love you. No At least homo. I know what a vagina looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'll see you on Friday, guys. Um, and I hope you all have a fantastic evening and a great, healthy, safe Thursday. And, uh, well, I'll see you then. Maybe the doggy will be here on Friday. If you look, oh, we can all little say ducky. hi to the I would little love ducky. ducky. Little yeah. ducky. Wow. Yeah, you guys are going to love Elo told me he pooped outside. He peed outside twice. Oh, what really a good thing. Really what a good. Game. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Love you guys sincerely. And thank you to the members, by the way. You guys make it all happen here and I'm so grateful for that and everybody who watches it's an honor to have you so thank you everybody and we'll see you on Friday Dan I can't stand Dan Dan is the queen you can't do nothing wrong Dan is the queen